Hello, everybody. Happy Friday, and welcome to Kitty Baked with Crystal. Who's ready to get baked? Woo! Awesome, <laughs> baked. this house. Yeah, it's a little warm. It's only 96 outside, but for some reason it's a little warm. Is it humid again today? I don't know. I don't know. It's warm, but we're good. We're not turning on the oven today, guys. We are making Pop-Tarts in the air fryer. Pop-Tarts are one of my guilty pleasures. Not gonna lie, I love Pop-Tarts. I think it's because we always had them in the house when I was a kid, but I was never allowed to eat them. They were my dad's. You could not eat Pop-Tarts. Sometimes we'd get the bootleg Pop-Tarts. Don't get bootleg Pop-Tarts. That is not the way to go. They're not the same. They're different. They're... What's the generic name for Pop-Tarts? Like, not the brand name, but like, what would you call them? Like... Toast pastry. Toast... No, not even toaster paste. Like... I think like that's what they are. Fruit filled I think pastry. Right. I think it's toaster paste. Toaster pastry. But they're not toast. They don't come toasted. Toaster. Toaster pastry. That makes me think of toaster strudels. Anyway, don't get generic pop tarts. It's not the way to go, at all. Get the real stuff. Brown sugar and cinnamon is my favorite flavor. So we're gonna make some of those tonight. Dan likes jelly filled. So Dan wants some jelly filled. We're gonna do both. I have. A leftover roll of pie crust from last week and we got a whole new box so we'll see how these go and we will make some pop tarts out of pie crusts mm -hmm. i don't know pretty much the same thing we made last week guys but it's just gonna be flatter this time that's that's what's going on here different filling uh 93 of you say yes please to pop tarts uh nobody's never had one i'm, I'm happy to see that everybody's had a pop tart right it's a quick well, and easy I, like I, I will say the whole world didn't answer so <laughs> nobody here None of my friends have never tried a Pop-Tart, is what I'm saying. Um, it's one of those things, we always have them in the cupboard. Always. Because if I haven't made something to take to work for breakfast, I can throw some Pop-Tarts in my lunch bag and take that. So, Pop-Tarts are the jam. I need to pull up my recipe real quick, so bear with me. How is everybody doing tonight? Yahoo! It's good. It's Friday. I am happy for it's Friday. It's Friday. Smack down in the middle of summer. Dan, it is one week away from my birthday yes this time next week will be my birthday uh-huh i think for your stream you should do a visual interpretation of you being born like <laughs> oh no i have you know those big balloons that you see those people get inside and they like fill no. them up with the water up to dan, their neck dan and then i can pop it for you dan i was born by c-section okay so then i'll slice it open <laughs> i'll slice, slice open, it open the, and the pull balloon, me out and then you can come slide it out and then you know you could have some sort of like poetry. That, that you could, terrible. You could read poetry as you blossom. What kind of poetry? Up. What mood are you thinking the poetry would be? I like survived. I survived. <laughs> I shouldn't have. You got lucky this time. And then like you come sprouting up into a flower and then you start to show. And they're like, happy birthday. <laughs> that's like that. That's the rollout thing. <laughs> um. No, no, no. Lay on your bed. I know you know this, but I don't know if I've mentioned this on the stream. I was actually due, like, early July. And I was just hanging out. They had to cut me out. I was uh. not trying to come out. I was nice and warm and snuggly. I knew what was waiting for me on the other side. I was not coming out. I, I don't I don't have any fun facts from... No? No, I don't even know what happened. It's no. just here I am. <laughs> yeah, my mom was very done. My mom's little. My mom's shorter I'm than me. Now. She was very done being pregnant. I was born in the 70s, so I'm lucky I'm here. <laughs> Pretty much, huh? Like, right. they probably didn't even know your gender, huh? No, I'm sure the doctor was watching the latest episode of Chips while he was giving birth to me. <laughs> probably. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our pie crusts, we're going to cut them into rectangles, but pie crust is round, so we're going to have some left over. Dan, did you get my rolling pin out? Uh, no. Okay, so we're going to need the rolling pin. We're going to roll out the rest Sorry, of it and it. try to form some rectangles the best we can. We are going to put... Uh, we just got some... Uh, from Aldi, because, you know, we love the Aldi. Thank you. Um, just some uh, organic Simply Nature strawberry preserves. And Kathy said, I was due November 1st. and like, Okay, so you were, like, a few days late. They didn't cut me out of you? Or did they? <laughs> um, usually they'll wait a while. I mean, they waited a month before they cut me out of my home. It was mom. the 70s. You're like, go home, man. Yeah, it's fine. We might have completely been off on your due date. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, Nancy says, has anyone else noticed that Pop-Tarts have shrunk in size? I don't think I have noticed. Maybe your hands got bigger. That's possible. But I don't recall. I don't, re I don't recall. Um, one thing I do hate about Pop-Tarts is every single flavor of Pop-Tarts has the same package. For a very brief period of time, like a decade ago, they printed the flavor on them. Yeah. Remember that really, really brief period of time? It was in the time we've been together. They printed the flavor on them. Uh, Chris says it's not the size of the tart. It's how you pop it. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Chris. Um... 
But yeah, they do not put the flavor on it, which is fine if you only ever get one flavor, but if you've got like three or four boxes, which it's not gonna lie, it has happened. It's like a quality of life thing from Pop-Tart. Like, right. sometimes you have to just spend the money for the quality of life things. Like, you didn't go home and your wife's like, how, let me see the new product, and you're all like, look, it's this, and she wasn't like, hey man, you should put the flavors on the Pop-Tart. And then Don Draper went back to work and right. didn't. Like, but what's worse is that they it. did it for a while, and then they decided, nah, not worth it. Really? Really? So, when we've been at the point where you have multiple flavors and, like, one left of each flavor, I usually grab out a Sharpie and write on the back what it is. <laughs> but why don't they put the flavor on the packaging? Do we need to start selling Pop-Tart stickers? Maybe, why don't they have Pop-Tart stickers? You could just do a little circle sticker... With, like, some sort of little icon for each one, a couple words, something. Like, come on. Come on, Pop-Tart. Up your game. What are you doing? I do see a couple super chats. Thank you guys so much. I, I love seeing this number go up. Amanda, who has been supporting us for 27 oh months. Amanda, you are amazing. That you is, know that we appreciate you and Chris so much. I'm is, so glad we have you as part of our RFS family. I mean, that's like child support. Really? Like, like, <laughs> thank you. Like, I am a big child and pretty much she been paying child support to me. Pretty so much. Thank, thank you. Um, and I've mentioned it before, Amanda is the one that made it so that I post the recipes ahead of time so you guys can bake along. She suggested doing that. She's baked along with us many, who, many, many times. Who tried to push the... Well, I mean, besides us trying to always push for the show, who pushed for the show? Was that Chris and Amanda trying to get us to make the chocolate chip cookies? Was that them? Um, or was that Hannah? Or who's... You always pushed it. No, Hannah came... Can't, Hannah was late in the game. Hannah wasn't well, a right, day one. She came in as a hater. She came, <laughs> never, she came in with a hater. Either. Did she? I don't yeah, remember that. She was like, this sucks. You, now you're just sucks. trying to put that on her. Um, no, Chris named it. Amanda suggested posting the recipes. So you guys are a very integral part of this here show. So once again, thank you so much. Anyway, under her super chat, new Mario Kart tracks come out on August 4th. So that explains the maintenance on Wednesday. Well, you know, that is the day before my birthday, so maybe I am taking my birthday off of work. I've been going back and forth. I do have the sick time. We're only halfway through the year, but I do accrue more sick time. I think I might take the day out. It's my birthday. I shouldn't have to you know, work. That's up to, that's up to you. You've always been a person that hated doing anything on your birthday. I really don't think you should have to do things so, for other people on your birthday. I, I just don't think that that's don't fair. Don't go to don't go to work, then. I think I, think I might just take don't. Friday off. Maybe. Sounds like asking chat. Good. <laughs> oh, they'll always go they're my it. friends they're gonna yeah. tell me to take the day off they're for good. sure they're always good um, this. still debating we're working on the calendar for next month um I'm trying really hard to find recipes that don't require the oven but i don't really like no bake cookies that much and no bake cheesecake all involves cool whip which i don't care for so i don't know what we're doing next month i will figure it out the new calendar will be up monday let's just say that right there monday it'll be up um I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know if I'm going to have a show Friday. Well, you'll find out on Monday with me. We'll see what we're doing. I'm doing what I want. That's for sure. Like, whatever happens is whatever I want. I just haven't decided what I want yet. Uh, Doris agrees. Haven't worked on my birthday in over 25 years. I'm so envious of you. I have always strived so hard to take my birthday off, but some Wait, years I haven't been able to. Doris, do you, do you work the other 364 days of the year? <laughs> I think she just got a new job. Oh, be okay. nice. No, 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 no. Because that that makes that statement true to anybody that stays home and doesn't work. Right. Fair enough. What do you think I was trying to say? I don't know. All right. There was another super chat here from PJ, our good friend PJ. Thank you so much for the support, friend. It says I love pop tarts. That's why I love you. I have your attention in two hundred characters. Let's see where you spent them. Descendants was the best Disney Channel original movie, and Ben was the best character, and I don't believe Yoko broke up the Beatles. John did. Um, I'm with you on the second one. Never seen the Descendants movie. Um, I think there was a book, though. I might have read the book, um, but Descendants the band was better. Like, I'm just gonna put that out there. If you don't know who they are, check them out. Uh, Dale says strawberry, raspberry, chocolate fudge, s'mores, wild berry, and cookies and cream are my faves. Oh, they're, like, there's no bad Pop-Tart flavor. Like, there's no Pop-Tart flavor I would not eat. If you have Pop-Tarts, I, I would I would eat your Pop-Tarts. Like, I don't I don't care what flavor it is at all. There's a fly in here, which means Topo is going to be here soon. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Uh, Margaret says it's a guessing game when you put the Pop-Tarts in your cabinet. Pop-Tart roulette. Oh, it's the worst, though. No, actually, you know what? I take that back because we had lemon meringue pop tarts, and I was so excited for them. Uh, it tasted like cleaning products. I ate one package and uh, threw them away. I don't know that I've ever thrown away any other flavor of pop tart, but those lemon ones were not the business, which then made me scared to try any of the other new flavors they came out with. Uh, there was like peach. 
What were the other flavors, Dan? Remember there's three new flavors that came out recently? Of what? Pop tarts? Um, there was the peach. Fruit loop? Was it no? Loop? Was it chocolatey s'mores one? No, that's been around. Was it mango? Mango. There, there, uh, there was an ego one, but that wasn't part of the three that came out. I was hesitant to try I, the I, ego though. I, I didn't remember those. seeing the one in public that was you already named. That was what? The one that you already named. I just remember the that peach one. one. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Maybe somebody's saying in the chat I was up top. Um. Blueberry and cinnamon. I haven't had blueberry. I am not a fan of blueberry, though. We had some blueberry jelly, and I finally tried it, and uh, I didn't like it. Not at all. I don't know why. And I've had blueberry-filled donuts, jelly donuts. Not a fan. I like blueberries. I like baking with blueberries. I do not like what they do when they make blueberry into things. It's it's not my business. Not having it. Oh, uh, what else is going on? Hey, Dan. Yeah. What do you call a holy Pop-Tart? Uh, what? A Pope tart Yeah, I ain't eating that. <laughs> it's usually the other way around. Uh, Chris says, what? I just heard this show is all about me. Maybe that isn't what Crystal said, but it makes me happy, so I'm going with it. We'll, we'll go with it. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Martha says, I take my vacation on my birthday week. Oh, I should probably do that. I'm a few months off. I end up with a week's vacation every six months, and as soon as I hit 40 hours, I'm like, bye, I'm out of here. I'm leaving for a week. And the last few times I've gone to see my brother, and I spent a week at his... Uh, family's house but yeah I'm, I'm i'm due for another vacation like in february so i'd have to put it off or yeah no i don't i can't six months sorry <laughs> six months uh oh, the chat keeps jumping i'm trying to catch things but they're it's mm -hmm. oh, i don't know what's happening the mouse is is jumpy um i tried apple pie pop tarts not great i don't think i had the apple pie ones i don't remember uh, blueberry flavor is gross. Yes, Hannah. See, you're my people. Marcus says, I heard Pop-Tart. Yes, friend, we are making Pop-Tarts. PJ saw the blueberry muffin Kit Kats at the gas station today. Did you try the blueberry muffin ones? I did not. I think Terry did. Did you try them? I did. What did you think? They're not terrible. Not if, terrible. If you like white chocolate, I was surprised. Oh, it was it's white very, chocolate? It's very more white chocolate than dark chocolatey. Uh, right. It's I'm out. blueberry flavor, but it doesn't have that artificial synthetic blueberry taste. It's not bad if you like a wafer. I don't like wafers, so I will not try it. I, I try. We've it. gotten some of these wacky Kit Kat flavors, and I've been trying them. I'm done. I'm not trying any more Kit Kats. I don't care what flavors <laughs> they are. Uh, Sam says, does Terry live there now? Uh, for now, yeah, she does. She's, she's been staying with us for a while. So, yeah, Ter Terry is part of the uh, the Inside the House RFS fam these days. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to cut up the, the pie crust. We're going to, one has us coat it with egg and one has water. We're going to try both different ways so we can compare like what's better. And then we're going to put the filling in it and we're going to bake them and then, well, air fry them. And then it says to let them cool before you put frosting. So we're going to cook them completely, take them out, put them on a cooling rack. And while they cool, we will uh, make the, the glaze for the top of it. Two different glazes. One's got the, you know, for the brown sugar and cinnamon. The other one, they're both pretty basic. It's just brown sugar. Um, I'm sorry, powdered sugar and milk. One of them, the the air fryer. Um, sorry, I'm trying to read and think at the same time. The brown sugar ones wanted heavy cream in it, but I only wanted a tablespoon. And I didn't want to buy more heavy cream just to use a tablespoon. So we're using milk because the other one uses milk. It should be just fine. Um, but two different glazes for the two different flavors of pop tarts. PJ says that his mom says. All of these new products are a sign of end times. I'm with it. <laughs> like, look, you know I like the bootleg snacks. Whatever kind of funky flavors they can come out with to ride us into the end, I'm with it. I'm with it. Green Pop-Tarts are great, but only available at Walmart, which is 40 minutes from me. I don't think I've had the green apple ones either. Uh, Chris says, welcome to the family, Terry. Save me a spot on the couch. <laughs> Uh, you're going to have to fight Precious for that extra spot. It's it's kind of a big couch, but Precious is a big boy and takes up an entire cushion all by himself. And then we have, it's not an L-shape, it's like a C-shaped couch. And that corner is pretty useless. Unless you're lounging, you, you can't really, nobody can sit there. So there's three spots and, and three of us and the cat takes the fourth. That's it. Uh, you were staring at me. I thought you were going to say something. I had a stupid C-section joke about the couch, but I... <laughs> I nope. No. Nope. Uh, Cyber Husky says, love that Terry's hanging out with you guys. She levels up the fun for sure. Um, Terry is always down for a good time. She's always high energy and happy. So, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Shall we? Yeah. Okay. Um, our cutting boards are kind of textured or wood. So I'm not going to use a cutting board. I'm actually going to use wax paper. 
I'm only using wax over parchment paper because I rarely use my wax paper and the parchment paper can go in the oven, the wax paper cannot. So usually when I do stuff on the counter and I wanna use some sort of paper, it's the wax paper. <laughs> uh, beer on bug with the joke for you, Dan. He, he's left the room. So he does that a lot. I'll, I'll get to it. All right, so as I have learned after several failed attempts with pie crust, I have let this sit out for uh, almost an hour now. Because it's much easier to work with when it's room temperature. I don't know where Dan went, he just disappeared. There he is. Hey Dan, coming, yeah. beer and bug came through with the uh, C-section couch joke. Uh, what's that? The, couch, the sofa is a C-sectional. It is. <laughs> it, 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 yes, you're right. That was the joke because it goes into two pieces and it was C-shaped. Um, last time we decided we were taping it down, but I don't have any painter's tape anymore. That's fine. Blake blew it all trying to level his uh, 3D printer. Fair enough. A new one showed up for him the other day, too. It's just sitting in his room. He's not even, he ain't here. even here. He won't be here for like another week. Leaving the room in the middle of a conversation. It's a guy thing. Oh, I was gone. I was, looking for the, I was looking for some paper, Crystal. You, you were being the hero. Speaking of which, Dan was superhero today. You've been talking about this for like a year, and you finally made it happen today. And I've been hesitant to do it, but now that it's done, I'm, I'm happy that it's done, and I think it's going to make my quality of life a lot better. Dan went under the house, so our hose spigot is by the back stairs. Dan climbed under the entire house and ran a hose under the house to the front porch and mounted like a hose keeper thingy. And... What is the thing that you got? It's a hose, but it's like a collapsible it's like a little, like, squishy flexi hose yeah, or a something. Flexi hose. Oh, it's an as seen on TV hose. Out, <laughs> fair enough. Like, is it the one you can put in your pocket that my mom got? Uh, not quite, but in that same family. Okay, fair enough. Um, and it is now on the front porch, so I do have to go to the back to turn it on. But when I water my 312 pots on the front porch, I no longer have to carry my watering can ten times back and forth from the sink to the front porch and I just have a hose out there so Terry helped too. Terry did help too so thank you superhero Dan and superhero Terry you guys are awesome oh uh, don't worry I I completely filmed the uh, six minutes I was under the house the GoPro yeah like, will that make it in a vlog once you uh, finish our absolute, vacation vlog absolutely mm -hmm. yeah. okay so I'm not sure the best way to do this it said to roll it into a 12 inch circle I think that's that's about 12 inches right would you just Okay. It's not really a circle. It's more of an no no ovally there. heart no thing. Now no, no, I'm winging it. I'm winging it. All right, so I'm just going to use my pizza cutter. How big do we want these? Three by four. I do need a ruler for that because I'm the worst at measurements. Can you get, give me a ruler, Dad? Thanks. Uh, Dan the Superman and Terry the Superwoman. Yeah, they're over here making things happen while I uh, sit at a desk and scroll Reddit. That thing's disgusting. Well, I'm not going to put it on the food. I just need an estimate of how much 3 by 4 inches is. So that's 4. And that's 8. And then that's 3. Okay, so this is how big you're letting me have a Pop-Tart, huh? You're right, Pop-Tarts have shrunk. And then I should go this way three inches. I'm gonna have to roll this out again. No, oh, I'm really bad at straight lines. All right. One, uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, screwed it all up, you guys. Your yeah. mom is here. Hello, Ma. Oh, hi, Mom. We're making Pop-Tarts, Ma. Okay, there's one Pop-Tart. There's two Pop-Tarts. And then somehow I'm going to have to roll this to that same flatness, but oh, I hate doing that. I, uh, I lost the ceiling fan light. I'm trying to figure out why oh, the lighting yeah. looks dark through here. <laughs> Um, in the next episode of our house falling apart, people crashing into it saga, uh, 
<laughs> the ceiling has to be replaced. So there's a hole in our ceiling at the moment, and the ceiling fan is down. So we are down some light and some air movement. Show yeah, you've shown our, our that, ceiling hole. That's only a part that's coming out. I mentioned how much I hate rolling things. You want to move the air fryer? It's not time yet. Nah. Okay. It's fine. I've got this giant counter space these days. It's still a little thick. Are they doing the entire thing? Um, no, just the damaged parts. But he took out some of it and then uh, realized it was more damaged like further back than he thought. So he'll be back on Monday. Yeah, we needed like five inch, five eighths inch drywall. We needed thicker <laughs> drywall. So. Um, so I've always thought that the reason we have thin drywall on the walls is for, for weight, which I'm sure that is the reason. It's a mobile home. It needs to move like, you know, weight and whatnot. But apparently the, the quarter inch thickness is reserved for the walls, five eighths on the ceiling. I'm sure it has to be the standard thickness of something. I just, I don't If they could get away it. with thinner, they would. Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, Chris says, wait, did the roof project break your ceiling? Um, yes and no. Uh, so we were already looking into getting a new roof. We knew it needed to be done. We were getting bids on that. And then we had that big rainstorm out here, and it rained in our house, which means it was leaking. Oh, yeah. It, like, dripped in the house. It dripped in the house. It drip dropped. There was water from the rain coming into the house, which should not happen. But that means that even though we needed a new roof, we knew we needed a new roof, it was worse than we thought because it was already dripping through the outside into the inside. It just hadn't made its way through. And we knew it was a little wonky. We, we were getting there. Um, but then when they did the actual roof, we talked about it, how when they did the actual roof um, and drained the swamp cooler, then more water came in and it came in through the ceiling fan. So it, it was already ruined, but it made it worse, if that makes sense. Right. And now they're replacing it. Yes. Okay, so... Damn it. I didn't roll it right, and I don't have enough to make two either direction. <laughs> Can I make it thinner? Let's see, how thick is this? No. No? No. Well, shoot. Alright, so we'll just do this. And we'll do this. And we'll measure... Four... Three. Yeah, we're gonna make it happen. Oh, Chris always has the jokes. He all right now. We're making it too. We're making it happen. We're short a little corner, but I'm not worried about it. Close enough. So I think we'll have enough. It doesn't say how many it makes. Um. But I think we'll have enough to do four of each variety. Maybe. We'll see how this rolls out. <sighs> uh, Brittany says, I think just tear down that house and build a new one. That seems cheaper. That's what Jess keeps telling me. She's a, like, stop that. This one's paid off. <laughs> So there's that. It's been fun during projects on the house, though. It's very much a learning experience. Look, one day I would love to buy an old house, and I know that they have problems, but they also have great architecture and, like, built-ins and things like that. Mm -hmm. So this is our our learning project house. And a lot of this stuff, like, we knew it needed to be done. It just wasn't in the budget, so that's why a lot of this stuff just waits until, like, oh, it has to be done until now. Until it presents itself. Until you don't have a choice. Until you don't have a choice. So after, right after this, is filling happening next? Yes. Okay. I will try to get a zoomer in shot. A zoomer in? Yeah. I'm just, I'm not going to win with this. Four, we'll go three this way. Chris says, waiting for half to fix it is a real thing for most of us. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. This 
struggle is real. But it's nice when you get a thing done and you're like, oh, I don't have to worry when it rains anymore because we're not going to have it rain in the house. That's fixed. On to the next problem. The porch that got crashed into that needs to be replaced. Oh, good times. My friend texted me today and said he went for a walk by our house and noticed that we had a new roof, which was weird to me because I don't know that I would notice if one of my friend's houses had a new roof. I don't think that's the kind of thing I would notice. But then again, I don't notice when like Blake or Dan shaved their face, so. In all fairness, they probably don't notice when you cut your hair. Probably not. Did I tell you that Gavin texted me today and said he noticed we had a new roof? No. Yeah. I was saying, I don't know that I would notice if I went by my friend's house and they had a new roof. No, not you. <laughs> Definitely not. No, I would not. Close enough. All right, so we can make our first batch. We'll save this little blob for a... Uh, patching or for the next batch. Uh, Brittany with her member for 22 months member chat. Thank you so much, friend. Says, some days I think about being a vlogger, so I keep my house cleaner. It would be about my cats for sure. Um, I don't know that it keeps your house cleaner. It keeps uh, the area you're filming in cleaner. But very often you start to film and you're like, oh crap. And you just start scrambling to move stuff out of the way onto the other side of the camera. That's Only all. in the beginning. Yeah. Uh, David says, ooh, Pop-Tarts, OMG, yummy. What flavor is the Pop-Tart gonna be? We are doing two flavors tonight, friend. We are making some that are gonna be filled with strawberry preserves, and we're gonna make brown sugar and cinnamon ones. So we will start with the strawberry, because those are gonna be easier. The extra Pop-Tart, <laughs> the extra can be a Pop-Tart for baby booch. I don't know. <laughs> make a tiny little Pop-Tart? Maybe, we'll see how that goes. All right, so. Let me get onto the strawberry filled one. So it wants us to do one tablespoon of jam and I am the worst at overfilling things. So I am going to measure this out. Maybe I shouldn't have laid them on top of each other. It's a little warm in here. Okay. Leave about a quarter inch border around the edges. Be careful not to overfill so it doesn't leak, but we're gonna put parchment paper in there. Fill a small bowl with warm water and lightly dip your finger in the water and slide along the bottom edge piece. So like I said, guys, one of these has us using egg wash and one of us, one of them has us doing, this doesn't have egg at all, huh? Which means it's not gonna be very crispy, I think. Hmm. Uh, but one's doing it with water, so we'll see. Can you go a little higher with these? Like, uh, like there, please? I'm not gonna touch them. Uh, Oh my gosh. Okay. Where? Here? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Helen is here. Hello, Helen. Hi, Helen. And Christine, late again. No worries. We won't hold it against you. I'm trying to get one water out of here. A catnip and cream cheese pop tart for Mooch. He would love that. <laughs> All right. So I got my water ready. So I'm just breaking it up a little bit. Did you make the dough? No, ma'am. I do not like making dough. I'm using a leftover pie crust from last week. Because we're pretty much making the same thing we made last week, but today it's square and thinner. But again, I just don't want to turn on the oven. That's really all it comes down to. I have been doing some baking this week. Um, you guys, if you're on Facebook, you may have seen my Facebook post about making your cookies... Uh, round and softer with the little cup trick once you take them out of the oven. I was uh, midnight baking because that's the best time to bake in the summertime in Southern California. Okay. We're going to put a tablespoon down. We're going to spread it but leave about a quarter of an inch. 
This is a little clumpy. You need a fork mash some berries or something? No, I just need to mash it a little better in there. But I can't mash it on here right. because it'll mash into the dough. But I think we'll be good. Um, again, I'm, I'm really bad at measurements. That's probably good. I'm scared I'm gonna overfill and make a big giant mess. So we'll do like that. And lightly dip your finger in the water and slide it along the bottom edge piece. And then we're gonna put the top one on and we're gonna fork it around the edges. Now, uh, Christine says those cookies look good. They were amazing. Like, I'm already ready to make more. Uh, were you angry baking? No, no, no. By the time it's late at night, it's, I'm no longer angry from the heat. I just do not want to turn the oven on during daylight hours. I made a... I asked Blake what he wanted for his birthday dessert, and he wanted just plain old regular chocolate chip cookies. So I made a big old batch of them, and he went and spent the week with his friends uh, down a couple hours down south of us, and I gave him all the cookies to take with him. My, uh, my old man boss that you guys know I love so much, he asked me one time, why don't you ever make just like, like a really good chocolate chip cookie? So I kept that in my mind. And when I made these cookies, I made sure to take about a half a dozen of them aside and put them in a little Tupperware and I brought them to him at work. And with his first bite, I heard, oh my God, these are amazing chocolate chip cookies. These are perfect. Why can't my wife make them like this? Hers are always hard and crunchy. <laughs> So I told him I will bring him the recipe, and I told him the secret is undercooking. First and foremost, undercooking. But that little cup trick, if you guys missed it, um, when you take them out of the oven, you just take a cup over the top of it, and you just kind of make this motion, and it pulls those flat edges that get crispy in a little bit. It makes your cookie a little bit thicker, makes it rounder so they, like, visually look better, and uh, makes them softer because you don't have those crispy edges. So I will uh, never not do that when I make cookies. I'm surprised he didn't ask for the Oreo truffles. Yeah, um, I don't know if those would have traveled well. Like I said, he's about two hours away. Okay, so pinch the edges together and then seal them with a fork. So let me make sure we're, we're pinched well enough here. And then we'll fork them. I'm forking it good. This part is important because if you do not seal them well enough, it's going to be catastrophic. It's a pretty good amount of filling. It left it like pretty puffy. I was worried it was not going to be enough, but to be fair, pop tarts really don't have all that much filling in them either. What is that going to do? Is there no vent holes for this? No stabby stabby? Um, let's see. Yes, use the fork to post holes in pastry for ventilation while it cooks. We will be doing that. Um, this is going to be, because I mashed it down onto the uh, wax paper, it's not going to peel up very easily and I don't oh, want to squish it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do this. It's not a super fast swoop. Um, I, I'm feeling it out here, so <laughs> bear with me. Yes, okay. Now what? <laughs> Where do we put it now? Oh, no. I guess we should leave it in the corner until we have to put it in the machine. Probably. One. Uh, 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 nice. Oh, let me fork it before I forget. Oh, that didn't really poke. Okay, good enough. All right. Huh? All right. We're doing it. We're doing the thing. This was the one that wasn't very square, but we'll, we'll fudge it a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. I do want to squish my jelly a little bit better. My preserves. Uh, maybe put some oil on the scraper. Oh, no, no. It, it came up just fine. Ew, Brittany. <laughs> uh, KBR says, what's your favorite Pop-Tart flavor? Mine is the brown sugar and cinnamon. So after we finish these, we will be making some of those. Um, I've always just been a fan of regular Pop-Tart flavor. 
Uh, what's regular pop tart like, flavor? Just standard strawberry pop tart. Strawberry. Tarts. Yeah. I actually prefer the cherry to the strawberry. If I'm gonna go with a berry. Oh, uh, okay. I would just. I would do. Cherry. I prefer cherry. Uh, th- um, those two are interchangeable for me, but all the fun flavors never did it for me. Fair enough. And I'm not a pop tart fan. I, it's. For, yeah, I don't even remember the last time you ate pop tarts. I need. I need pizza for. Or, <laughs> yeah. or sandwiches. You're for definitely breakfast. a savory breakfast kind of guy. Yeah. Um, the the frosting on the cherry ones is a little bit better. I feel like it's a little bit like thicker and I don't know if it's more flavorful or if it's just like a mental thing, but I like them better. Oh, I'm getting excited for these. Me too. <laughs> Brittany says, not car oil, Dan, just to keep it from sticking. Yeah. Uh, Afriel says, next time try a fork to mush the preserves. Works a little better. I'm I'm sure that it would. I don't know why I didn't. But thank you for the tip. It's awfully wet. Is that the strategy? You need to get it wet so it'll stick to itself. Are you, like, tucking it in? Yeah, like tucking it into bed for the night. So now that it's wet, when you squish it, it'll like become one again. Cause you really want to like seal up those edges. If there's any gaps, that filling's gonna, when the, the pie crust kind of puffs a little bit, that filling's just gonna goo right out. How do you eat your Pop-Tarts? You don't eat Pop-Tarts. But if you eat a Pop-Tart, how do you eat a Pop-Tart? I, I just break it in half and eat it. Um, I don't like you do, just take bites out of it? Right, I don't do what you do. <laughs> so, I like them well enough toasted, but like I said, I usually eat them at work, so I don't toast them at work. We don't have a toaster. We have a microwave, but it's absolutely disgusting. Um, I eat all around the edges first, just like I do with pretty much everything else. That's how I eat a hamburger. That's how I eat a sandwich. I eat around the edges first, but I don't just take bites. I break pieces off, and then I take bites off the pieces. It's like you eat the crust of the pizza first. I do eat the crust of the pizza first as well. No, I mean like on your Pop-Tart. Like you eat all the crust. Yes, I eat all the crust first. I eat around the outside. The crusts are all the handle parts to like keep it from dripping on me when it's lava. It's, but see, I don't toast them, so they're not dripping. Um, the crust is very dry and I don't like it. So when I eat things, I like to eat the stuff I don't like first. You eat cold Pop-Tarts or always hot Pop-Tarts? No, when I eat them at work, I just eat them straight out of the foil. Okay. These are starting to move together. Um, and then I break the middle parts apart because the whole thing, when I eat the whole thing, I just break pieces off and put them in my mouth. Mm Mm-hmm. There we go. These are coming out beautifully. Uh, KBR says, I eat them in the middle and eat the sides afterwards. Oh, the opposite of me. Yeah, I, I think I just break mine in half and then just start pop tart and I just... What about you, Terry? How do you eat a Pop-Tart? Corner, corner, middle, corner, corner, gone. <laughs> I've never thought about, like, like driving around my food. It's always just, it always <laughs> just goes in my, my mouth. Food. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hannah says, I eat the crust of the Pop-Tart and sandwiches because I don't like them. Yes, same. Yeah, get, get rid of the stuff that I don't like first. Blake, when Blake eats things, and I don't know how he eats a Pop-Tart, but when he eats dinner and stuff, if there's something that he likes the best, he'll eat that first. I don't understand that, because then the thing you, the thing he likes the least, he eats last. He eats all of everything at once. He, he picks one item on the plate, and he eats all of it, and then he moves on to the next item, and he eats them in the order of what he likes the best first to what he likes the least last. I, I never... But then you have the taste, like, say it's like, you don't like green beans, or... The green beans that I eat, you like them fresh only. Um, but do you want the taste of green beans in your mouth when you got some like chicken and pasta or something? It, it's it, it's the flavors don't overlap. Like after I swallow it, like it's on to the next flavor. But I'm the so taste simple. is in your mouth. So yeah. why would you eat the thing you like the least last? That doesn't make any sense to me. And your child is weird. <laughs> That's yeah, all I, I'm saying. I don't have any food problems like that. <laughs> um, I eat around the plate like bites, but I make sure the thing I like the best is what I have the last bite of. But if there's pasta, there's a few bites of that left because that's this. Oh, I have to water it. No. Uh, PJ eats them in half and almost yeah. like a sandwich. You weirdo. Oh, not like that because <laughs> then I feel like it's gone. I feel like it's gone twice as fast. But I never thought to just eat. When I worked at NASA, when I worked at NASA, there was some dude that wouldn't let any of his food touch, and he was really particular about it. And I, I think don't he like was. My food to touch. I think he was the first person I I like I saw that was like, oh, like you don't just like eat your food. 
And like Thanksgiving, like all my food like mushes up into food. I get different like like the cranberry sauce has to go on the plate by itself. Oh, we got leakage. Um, the cranberry sauce goes by itself. The bread has to go by itself because I don't want any. Uh, what happened here? Did you get a little cocky? Things? I went a little close to the edge. I think this this dough was the one that was a little bit smaller. And I didn't uh, decrease my amount of filling, but I think we'll be good. I think it's a. Uh... I never had microwave pop tarts or bacon. I don't think you're supposed to microwave them. It says on it not to microwave them. So many weird quirks, yeah, Tristan. They're everywhere. <laughs> Crystal's got a bunch of them, I'm too. full of them. No left turns. Don't touch my belly button. Oh, wait. I will make a left turn. I prefer to do it where there's an arrow. But look, I got an accident like three months after I got my license where I made a left turn and someone crashed into me when I had the right of way. So, mm -hmm. you know, you can't fault me for that. How's this one looking? It's, this one's full. Good. This one might be the leaker. It might be. But like this I said, the, the, we, the dough was a little smaller. Can we frack it? Can we frack it and, and reduce some of the filling inside? No. No. Once it's sealed, we're not messing around. But I'm going to make sure we mash down good here. And they have a contraption on Amazon to keep your food separated on the plate. Um, I think those are called toddler plates. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's be honest. Yeah. I, I kind of eat like a toddler. Uh, my, my palate for food is pretty diverse, though. Like, I eat spicy things and, like, I don't know, things that, like, super picky eaters don't eat. I just don't eat meat. Oh, I forgot to poke the holes. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as long as places don't have just a bean patty option, you're pretty easy to take out, too. It's true. A little bit of consideration. It's, it's not hard. All right, so then... Should have done this before I picked it up, but here we go. This should be good. Oh, Amanda's with me. Don't touch my belly button either. I hate it. Um, yeah, I don't know what my deal is with it, but do not, don't even touch your belly button while you're looking at me. I do not like that. I get it. It's the original butthole. <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah, I'm, I'm not down for belly buttons at all. Uh, one of my favorite things about one of my particular friends is that she had her belly button surgically removed, and I have considered that. But, you know, I'm not real big on surgery either. I'm excited about these. These look promising. So, okay, so are, are you going to egg wash any of them or anything? Or? The other recipe says to egg wash it. I'm kind of tempted to do it with these, even though it doesn't say to, but we just because I know that that makes baked things, okay. pastry things better. How about this? Yes. How about we make one egg wash and, yeah. and bake it all by itself in here and then figure out from there before we do these ones? Because we have time. I know it takes a few minutes in here, right? Well, I, I, I know what egg wash is going to do. <laughs> like, if anything, I would do one with and one without, but I know egg wash is better for pastry things. Right. I got a clump in here. Yeah. I, uh, I really should have listened to Afriel and gotten a fork. I literally have a fork, but mm. it's no going back now. Your stubbornness is not going <laughs> to let you is not going to let you uh, change. It's principality. Just because someone else told me to do it, I'm not doing it. What were you talking about? So then, how long will they cook in the air fryer? I will tell you in just a minute. Mm. We should probably get that preheated because these are ready to go, and the air is blowing in here, and they're going to dry out. Yeah. Well, this is a little smaller than you the probably bottom. should. Do you want to plug that in for me? Yeah, I can do that. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, this is definitely drying out already. I can feel it. <laughs> Chris, I hate you. I know I just said a few minutes ago that I love you, but now I hate you. Uh, he says, <laughs> if you're going to egg... Egg, if you're going to egg wash, you really need that wash properly separated. Never again in my life. Um, I will tell you in just a second what that needs to go to. Uh, no belly button tummies scare me. It is kind of unnatural looking, but again, I'm kind of terrified of belly buttons, so I'm, I'm kind of with it. I didn't know for the longest time. Like, I went to high school with this girl, and she had it done after high school, but I hung out with her for quite a while before I realized she didn't have a belly button anymore. Are you going to check the temperature? Oh, yeah, I guess I could do that. Okay. 
Uh, three fifty. Are you gonna put it on one of the pads, or are you just gonna go for it? Yes, I am. But that has to go in after because it'll blow around. But there's nothing on top of it. But I think I'm gonna play it safe and do an egg wash because I know an egg wash is better. It gives it like a crispierness. Yeah, I would like that. interested in this process. He is just waiting to see if there's anything here for him. We had nachos for dinner last night, and I swear to you, the second the top popped on the cream cheese, that cat knew, um, on the cream cheese, on the sour cream, that cat knew. He sat here and watched us make everything, didn't budge. As soon as that sour cream opened up, he was all about it. And then it was a fight to get it on the food and put back in the fridge before Mooch could get to it. It sure is handy. What is it? That little, I don't know what, I'm sure it has a name, whatever it is, but I don't know. It was a freebie from ordering stuff from Quill at work, and my mom said I could have it, and uh, it's pretty handy. That's almost heated up, so we're going to egg wash. I don't know what the science is behind it. Y'all know I am not very educated in that stuff, get back much. Um, but the egg wash on like pastry things that you're gonna bake just makes it like crispier and better. It'll give you that little bit of brownness. You guys saw it last week when we did the uh, hand pies. Keep an eye on him, he's not giving up. Apparently he's all about the egg today. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do all four of these in there at once. No, I no try try one or two and then see if you need to adjust. I mean, there's really no adjusting. I'll peek in there and see like. I mean, you're sending the Fantastic Four, four up into space. Like, if they would have just sent, sent send one of them and not all four of them plus Doctor Doom on <laughs> on the first mission, it wouldn't have been so bad. No idea what you're talking about. All right, put all four of them in there. I don't think they'll all four fit. Camera, All right. As I showed you guys last week, parchment paper, thank you again, Brittany. I think I might have to scoop again. To put the holes in it? <laughs> no, no, no. It, it came like that. No, no, no. <laughs> Look, I'm a little obsessive. I'm not that obsessive. I, I did not punch holes in parchment paper. Maybe I can't get all four. I'm doing it, Dan. I'm sending the entire Fantastic Four team up. What about that little ball? I don't know about that little ball. I'll add it because I have to do another batch. Oh, like right now? Yeah, I'm making the other. Oh, because this wasn't the proper. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, it might be a little full in there, but we'll see how it goes. So this one's eight to 10 minutes. We've got a timer on the front of the air fryer, so we'll just kind of keep an eye on it like that. And if these are amazing, I do have more uh, pie crust, guys. We can make more. Uh, Rihanna says, hello, everyone. Hello, thank you for joining us. We are making Pop-Tarts. Our strawberry Pop-Tarts just went into the air fryer. And it is now time for brown sugar Pop-Tarts. I'm going to not need that anymore. I'm going to replace my wax paper because it's a little eggy.
Oh, uh, Hannah says, I don't know what it's called. I just use it to cut my soap face. Yeah, I'm sure it has a name. So, somebody out there, does somebody know? Mooch wants you to egg wash him. Yes, he does. I see that scraper what is it? Bench scraper? Okay. Thank you guys. I, I missed that. I didn't look at the screen until it scrolled off. Okay. Bench scraper? I'm never going to remember that. That's not intuitive at all. There's no bench here. I can't sit on it. A stubborn cat is stubborn. Yes. Welcome to Mooch's world. We just live in it. I hope your Pop-Tarts turn out. Me too. I think that was showing. Random timer? Okay, so we're done with that. Uh, Hannah says a fire truck just showed up outside her door. Chris says, I ordered you a couple firefighters. Enjoy. <laughs> Your wit is so quick, Chris. I, I appreciate that so much. I'm sure Amanda's annoyed with it. Why would that be annoying? <laughs> I don't know, Dan. All right, once again, round, high crust. This one is actually round, though. I will give it credit for that. Um, that we're gonna try to cut into rectangles. Okay, I'm gonna try to plan ahead a little better this time. Let's see. So that's eight inches there. We're gonna cut here. I don't even know if that's a straight line. Yeah, close enough. We'll put this dough with that, even though it's a completely different brand. And then, so that was four inches, and at three inches we're going to go this way, this way, those are certainly not straight. wonder why my Pop-Tarts are wonky. This is why. It'll taste just fine. It will. My food's not pretty, but it tastes good. I should probably get a kitchen ruler soon. This ruler is like literally from my childhood. Is it like, there's like, there's like metric and then there's like not metric and then there's kitchen? Is it the same thing? Or no, it's just like how we have kitchen scissors that you only use like on food things. Right. And it doesn't come out of the kitchen. It doesn't like cut boxes or anything like that. So you don't. I just need one to like go in the kitchen drawer that I only use for kitchen things. And not the little house in the hurry one. <laughs> Straight off I'm sure set. it'll look the same. I got a new ruler at work and it looks exactly the same. Um. Because they only have like the the engineer rulers that are a triangle and have like six different kinds of measuring. Know, do you remember those? Yeah, I don't know what the six different kinds of measuring are. I'm like, where's inches? I don't get it. I, I'm not smart enough for those rulers. That's because the smarter you are and the nerdier you are, the more you need to measure in micro, <laughs> Is micro, that why? micro pinches, micro get pinches. It? Let's see what you did there. Yeah, but I, I couldn't figure it out. And I told my mom we had to get a, a regular ruler. I just I just need a brown wooden ruler in inches. Uh, Lorna says, oh, too late. Too late for what? Oh, you should make a triangle Pop-Tart with those large edge pieces. Oh, boo. Yeah, no, sorry. Sorry. Also, I'm a little, uh, I don't want to say OCD and offend OCD people, but I, I do have, like, obsessive thoughts about things not being exactly perfect. Um, so they, they have to be square. All right, we are at about six minutes. We wanted eight to 10. Let's see where we're at. Oh, Dan's not here. Can we, can we peek, Dan? We're gonna keep it going. They look like they're cooking up nice though and they're not leaking. Dan, can you get me a cooling rack out? Please, of course. Okay, we're almost to eight inches. Eight. 
this way needs to be six. Oh, but I'm not, I'm not square. Oh, I hate rolling things out. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. We're just gonna roll and do it again. I don't know. One. I don't know. Uh, Laura says they look so good. Okay, it is almost time to get those out of there. A little more. Cool them off a little. Huh? Just cool them off. Like in the house? Yeah. yeah. It's getting a little more bearable. Yeah. By the way, this says like prep time is 10 minutes. <laughs> in case you're wondering. I mean, you stood up there and gave a 20 minute monologue. Yeah, right. But it's, it's also taken me longer than 10 minutes to prep these and make these. I'm just going to get three more bits out of this. can't roll things into a rectangle. It's just not possible. I can get two out of this and then I'll roll the other one. Okay, so... Here? Where is for? Yes. That's not toasty. You should check on it. We're at eight minutes. I'm gonna let them go a little bit more. It says eight to ten. I want them a little crispier than that. So I went four there. Three. Three. Oh, Becky says you're doing a good job. Thanks, I'm trying. Is Mooch a solid color gray or is he a striped gray? Um, at first glance, like on his back, it looks solid, but he's he's got the stripey and he's got the, the M on the forehead and whatnot. Like, he's he's tabby cat. Crystal, what do you say to the two percent that never tried popcorns? That what? Never tried popcorns. Oh my gosh! So that's like what one person out of eighty-seven votes? One person who show yourself? Who's never tried a pop tart? And what kind of fancy food are you eating? Are you too good for a pop tart? What's going on here? I bet it's a person that is not American. That's possible. Do they have pop tarts? Um, those of you in other countries, do you have pop tarts? Please tell me. Do you have brand name pop tarts? Do you have off brand? They're probably better than here because they probably don't have all the weird chemically things that we have here. Okay. Are we camera in over here, Dan? Hey. We're going to go just a tiny bit longer. We're at uh, 9 minutes and 15 seconds. So I'm just going to let it go a little, little bit longer. Let's see if I have enough here. I think that I do. Four inches. Close enough. What else? All right, so let's get these out of here. You got me two in the And I think they felt pretty like crispy around the edges. Like I can just pick it up and take it out of there. All right, you got side camera. Some of them puffed up quite a bit. Get a little warm. Can I get my my bench scraper in here? I did it. Some are puffier than others, and that one's tiny. All right, there's our strawberry ones. We will let those cool. Yeah, can we? That's not really hot, that can go in the trash. 
Alright, I gotta watch the dough off my hands. Uh, did you see the post that I posted on Facebook and RFS Cats? Um, there were a couple things I approved. Are you the one that has a pregnant kitty? I think that was you, correct? The, was it a gray kitty, maybe, that was pregnant? If so, I'm very excited for you to have kittens. Uh, those are smaller than the ones I got at the Watercolor Cafe on Mackinac. Still look good, though. Sorry? I would like to see, do you buy, who said that? PJ. PJ, do you by chance have pictures of those? I'm curious to see what a, like, a public pop tart is, you know what I mean? A public pop tart? Yeah, like, this is like, we're As gonna... opposed to my private Yeah, because, like, you know, if we're gonna do it... for my private reserve. Right, if we're gonna do it on the menu, we need to make the pop tarts poppin', so it's like, what are we gonna do to make ourselves want to sell pop tarts? So, right. I'd like to... Yeah, I'd like to see a... Fun, um, I do have sprinkles. Tart. I actually went to, uh, Joanne Fabric and got sprinkles for, like, a buck fifty. Little dot ones, because I do not have any more of those. First letter ever told you about the pop tart donut up in sack? I don't think you did. Uh, they put two pop tarts and then put a donut around it and make it a donut. So you have two pop tarts inside of a donut. <laughs> That's crazy. It's amazing. Okay, so we're gonna make our filling. That we're gonna start crazy. with a half a cup of brown sugar. I would try that. Uh, yes, it is. Her name is Cleopatra. She's adorable, and I'm so excited for you to have kittens. I just want all the kittens, but you know that. Uh, Jess says she'll send you one, Dan. What? What? Sugar? What? The pop tart from Mackinac. <laughs> what if it's like you remember when remember when you were a kid and they had the giant Hershey kisses well they still have them and like I would take them and I would always give them to my teachers like for like Valentine's Day like you know like and it was like the huge one what if the pop tart's like this big it's like what you know like that five pound gummy bear that <laughs> we have over there that I don't know what you door I think Dora sent that what am I supposed <laughs> to do with this gummy bear it didn't even come with a certificate of authenticity like Xavier Roberts did with all his cabbage patches I've adopted this bear in my house I can't bring myself to eat it and at the same time like I feel bad for it it's all the gummy bear all right we're doing uh it was a half a cup of brown sugar two teaspoons of cinnamon I probably should have gotten a bigger bowl hey Dan yeah put cinnamon on my Aldi shopping list Okay. Thanks. If I say it out loud, it might help. By the way, if you guys shop at Aldi, their spices and things are way cheaper than anywhere else, and they're perfectly good spices. And then two teaspoons of flour. I'll put that in there the right way. What are you doing? Oh, I'd eat it. Okay, so here, here it is in the in the wild, right? And then, that looks good. Well, let me see what kind of plate that is. That's a decent sized plate and a doily. Can can we get an idea of how big it is? Well, look at the sprinkles. Those are just regular sprinkles, like a donut. Those are like donut sprinkles. Maybe bigger. I again, I mean, I'm really at, bad with measurements. So there's that a cookie tells me for nothing. scale. But I don't know how big the cookie is. Uh, I feel like it's it's, uh, it's what we think it Brittany is. Brittany says flour. That's odd. I agree, but that's what it says. I was a little weirded out that there's no like liquid in here to make it liquidy. But this is what it says to do. I even double checked because I thought the flour was odd. Like maybe we use that somewhere else. So the no, nope, this is right. The sugar will melt, friend, and the flour will prevent it from. Okay, Terry says the sugar, the brown sugar is going to melt and the flour keeps it from liquefying too much. That, I have no idea if that's true or not, but I trust Terry. That makes sense to me. <laughs> Chris? Crumble, right? The flour helps hold the crumble on the top of stuff and you make it a That makes sense. Okay. That's I'm with it. Anyways. I am totally with your logic. Okay, so. Arrange half the dough pieces on a work surface and brush with egg wash. So this one, there. So there's our liquid. It wants us to brush this with egg wash. Crystal, don't forget to add flour to your list. I don't need flour, Dan. I have 25 pounds. What would you tell me to add to your list? Cinnamon. Oh, you should get a different. <laughs> I should. <laughs> you should not get the Dan Danazon. No, Dan is no help with shopping lists. <laughs> okay, so we're going to... Brush with egg wash. We're going to put, it says about one and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. So that's, that's more than uh, we did of the jelly. We'll see how this holds up. Oh, 
this one had three by four rectangles too. We'll see. All right, so we're egg washing the whole thing. So then we're not gonna have to put water around the edge because we're gonna have the egg already, which will serve as the liquid for that part. Can you maybe turn the air down to low just while I do this? Okay. It's gonna like okay, dry on. out my egg. Thanks, Dan. All right, and one and a half tablespoons on each one. Oh, how? Huh? <laughs> I don't know if I can do one and a half tablespoons. Like, I don't know if that's physically possible. That's one tablespoon. I got a little too close to the edge on that side. I don't. I mean, I guess the sugar's gonna melt, so. We'll see. And then we're just doing the same thing we did on the other one and squishing it down. It's, it's like not even a paste, it's literally just powder. It's just powder, but that sugar when it heats up is gonna melt. Nice. So as long as I can get it pocketed into there. Oh wow, that's a lot. It's that thick, is a but lot. it's gonna melt. I'm trusting the process. Like we've talked about so many times, when I make a recipe for the first time, unless it's something I really know won't work, I'm gonna try what they tell me to do. But when it turns to liquid, where's it gonna go? It's gonna I think this is way too stay much. inside. Well, I got a whole nother pie crust if we need it. We can pie it again. <laughs> ba -dum -dum. Uh, what flavors are we making in the Pop Tarts? This one is brown sugar and cinnamon. We did strawberry preserves in yeah. the other batch. We did strawberry and now we're doing wood chips. <laughs> I think it's gonna be good. It's got the egg wash in it. It didn't want me to do the. No, we're just brushing the top with egg wash. Are you? Yeah. And I brush the bottom. Ooh, oh, sorry. I didn't know that was able to happen with that. Me neither. Woo. Trusting the process. <laughs> Yes, sorry, sorry, Hannah. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, and so, sorry to everybody's ears, especially if you have headphones in. That was a sound that I've never heard in this house. <laughs> All right, so I'm just trying to pinch the edges together so we don't have any leakage. I am going to put a little water on my finger because that does help to kind of glue it. When I was under the house, there was an old school green, like little scooper thing from like a detergent box. Weird. And it was in the middle of the house, in, in the middle of the house. Also, I saw one eye Willie under there. <laughs> I feel like anything like that that's under the house, like a cat took it. Somehow a cat took it and took it under the house. Yeah. Brad says you forgot to use water on the edges. Um, it, this one said just egg. Oh, okay. We brushed the, the bottom part of the uh, pie crust with an egg wash. So that's our liquid for this one. But thank you, good looking out, because you know I do forget things sometimes. But this one was just using the egg. I'm just putting uh, a little bit of water on my finger to get this top layer gooey so it'll goo in. <coughs> and we'll see if that works. <coughs> Hang on, I'm choking on my life. All right. Do you want to turn this back on and preheat it? All right, I'm gonna start with the edge one and we're just doing the same thing we did on the other ones and we're forking them. And what do we end up doing, 10 minutes on huh? 
Yes, it did take a whole 10 minutes. They're too close together. You brought me uh, an apple fritter at work yesterday, which I ate for breakfast today because I had already eaten my breakfast yeah. yesterday because I did not get a heads up that there was an apple fritter coming. No, well, I was at Lowe's out over there, and then I was like, oh, I'll bring you an apple fritter for half diversion of, like, I was getting stuff for your birthday present. Gotcha. Um, and then I was like, oh, I'll bring you a apple fritter, then you won't question why I'm out with no agenda. <laughs> I not, that, not that I have I was have distracted agenda, by like, an apple fritter. But, like, I always have an agenda. But usually I ask, like, what are you doing? Yeah, so... That's yeah, so I, I ate that today, which luckily you brought that, because if you hadn't, you know what I would have had for breakfast this morning? Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts. Yeah, we don't want Crystal. Um, do have, you know... Having two Pop-Tarts in one day. Do you know that I've had three donuts this week? Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody got donuts Tuesday at work, and I grabbed my jelly donut, and then I went back a little bit later, and, like, there were some donuts left. Um, there were several people out that day so I was like I'm just gonna take an old-fashioned one too and I sure enough did and then my my favorite old man boss uh told me he took a second donut too how come you don't bring me donuts you're not as big into donuts as I am that's because like I, I'm nice and I let you have the is that why donuts. yeah I'm like you can have them no that's I not like true. donuts but I would rather you have donuts I brought that apple fritter I brought you was as big as your head it was I only ate half of it I've got donuts for tomorrow Actually, I'll probably eat it tonight, not gonna lie. Um, I, I, I also had Cold Stone ice cream today. Oh my gosh, I picked out on Cold Stone ice cream last week. But you have those ice cream cakes that we were talking about. Yes, it, it's somebody's birthday tomorrow What was the at flavor? Work. What was the flavor? Um, the, that I got or that the cake was? The cake was coffee ice cream and a chocolate cake. I don't like the ice cream cakes at all, so I never partake. Um, but I certainly wasn't gonna eat coffee ice cream. I'm not a coffee fan. Uh, but I got cheesecake ice cream, which is a little too tangy for my taste, I'm not going to lie, um, with what I had asked for was extra caramel, but there was not extra caramel, and Heath Bits in there was not enough in there either. Uh, Je Brittany says, Cold Stone, I'm jelly. Uh, I'm not. I don't think, I don't think I'm the biggest Cold Stone fan. I, I got this mixture. I got this mixture mm -hmm. of these new Mario ice creams that they got there, right? And it was a mixture of the Kirby strawberry one. And the like Animal Crossing Choco one, and I was all excited. She's like, "I'll split them, or like I'll make you like two of them, and then it'll be half and half, right?" And I'm like, "That's cool." So it looked like this, right, at the Cold Stones. It's a, uh, you know. So I didn't want the Mario Funfetti because Funfetti sucks a lot. Hey, hey, hey! But the, I had these chocolate banana strawberry things, and then like the strawberry cheesy thing. right? And and she's like, "I can make half and half." I'm like, "This is great!" And it came in a Mario cup. It was beautiful. And then, like, and then I got it. And, and then, then, and then you hardly ate any of it. Uh, life um, pro tip, almost, get the smallest size because that's almost all enough of it. ice cream. Well, I asked for the smallest size, but it ended up in a bigger cup. No, you asked but for then, the medium size, and yeah, then she right. gave you, it, like, an even bigger cup than that. But then it just, it was just all brown. It was good, though. It was good. I yeah, did she mix the two flavors together? Well, she really should have mixed them separately and put them started, side by side. It started that way, and that's what I thought, and then she mixed them into each other. Yeah, I, she did it wrong. I which is fine. Yeah. But hey, wait. I'm complaining about ice cream mixtures, you know? like. Oh, and then I found this really pretty dress at at the Rite Aid or Walgreens, whatever I was at. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put these in. We be, don't have a camera on this right now. It was going to be Hot Girl Summer. <laughs> what is it now? Since you, just, I don't think you bought the dress. I could be wrong. Summer. No, it was like more than half off. No, I don't have, like, I have to go. I have to go do a wardrobe change. Sorry, right, I need Moo Moo in it. Um, I actually uh, got a Moo Moo as a oh, gift. You're so lucky. <laughs> it's, it's, it's great, except I'm not really sure what to do. Like, if there's just so much. I haven't actually worn it. I did try it on, but I haven't actually worn it like as an outfit. All right, so we have a 
A uh, beer mix is hot Dan summer. I thought Dan only gets a thimble of ice cream slash frozen yogurt. Yeah, oh, I don't know that? what happened. Uh, Brittany, of Brit course. Brittany, I said I didn't care. I'm like, I haven't had ice cream from an ice cream place in years Wait, and years. Let's be real. Dan only ate about a thimble's worth, and then he threw the rest away, you guys. I ate, like, three quarters of it. Like, I ate three quarters of it. He ate, like, half of it. Now I have. Okay, cool. I'm up to half. We're almost, we're almost to where <laughs> I, the actual amount I'm is. being generous. You did not eat three quarters of it. Um, meanwhile, I scarfed the heck out of mine. Oh, right. Thanks, Dan. Maybe? Or is it hot? Oh, uh, Linda says, I've still got Cadbury cream egg ice cream waiting in my freezer. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. I don't think we get that here. Uh, che yeah, hang on. Cheesecake ice cream with strawberry and graham cracker bits is a good good. Um, yeah, I didn't want fruit. I wasn't feeling it in my ice cream. I wanted the heat bits. What I should have done is gotten the sweet cream ice cream. The cheesecake was just too tangy. I was not feeling that particular flavor. I like cheesecake. Uh, Chris says, I was given a kilt for my baby sister's wedding. I bought someone a kilt as a gift once and like researched their um, their particular, I think it's called a tartan, um, the particular pattern of fabric for his family line and then bought him a kilt. Thank you. Uh, Terry also has a kilt. I did not know that, actually. Uh, Linda says it's only available at Easter in UK, so I stocked up. I get it. Uh, I still have Cadbury cream egg cookies in my fridge. <laughs> I've been eating them the last few weeks. They're old. I don't care. I do not care at all. I'm excited. I'm ready. Oh, we have to make glaze, you guys. What are we doing? I know, my pockets are sitting <laughs> over there getting cold. All right, we're making two different glazes. Are we going to color it for the strawberry ones and make it pink? Sure. Thanks. You're so encouraging, Dan. <laughs> You're on board for it. We're in a Dan is wrong assistant. A Dan is wrong assistant? <laughs> That's what it's called. A Dan is wrong assistant. Like, Look, wrong. it was like a minute later and he forgot that I said cinnamon and tried to put flour on the list. I thought it was flour in your... In the, it was most certainly not flour. I am done with that. I'm done with this. I don't think we're, we're going to make any more. I think eight Pop-Tarts is enough for three of us. <laughs> we still have to eat dinner. Smell forward. All right. What am I doing? Can... Can May I have the timer so we can put it in the place to disagree? Okay, thank that you. Works. Yeah, that's very right. well. Okay, so nope, that wasn't the one I needed anyway. I needed powdered sugar. Ooh, I hope I have enough. Oh wait, I have like three more bags of powdered sugar. Thanks, Holly. Oh, this is a good thing. Chris says you should do the outside and pop the pop tarts the same. <laughs> no, you just want to watch the world burn, don't you? A beer and bug wants to know where you found that timer. Oh, um, on actually it was sent to me to review. I just got it a little bit ago. I can put a link in the chat there, but uh, I like it already. It's like USB chargeable and like it's fun looking and it's big. And That's it'll great be... till it dies halfway through your timing. Well, why? <laughs> Would it die halfway through your time? Because it's USB chargeable. So it magnets on the back and stuff. It seems pretty cool. It's going to be our new stream. It's going to be our new stream uh, timer so we can see it. Okay, don't let me forget. This is for the strawberry. This is for the brown sugar. This only needs a half a cup of powdered sugar. This needs a cup. And I'm measuring a quarter cup. That seems like a lot. I don't think I need that much. I'm cutting it in half. I'm, I don't need that much icing. There's four Pop-Tarts. Maybe the recipe was for, no, oh, it's one sheet. Oh, too much frosting. I don't know what they're thinking. Okay, we're doing milk. This one is gonna take vanilla and milk. This is gonna take cinnamon. Wait, cinnamon on the strawberry? <laughs> I 
good looking out. Left hand strawberry. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You, you know I'm just going to forget. Look, we'll put the cinnamon in and then we'll know. You need to post a link to that because multiple people are asking. Okay. Uh, countdown till Mooch wants snacks. Uh, yeah, we're at 720. His eyes are open. I think he just heard his name and, and the word snacks in the same sentence. Thanks. Thanks. Hold on, buddy. We're making Pop-Tarts. Your time will come. Okay, so then the strawberry one. And red. Watch this. Yeah, we have a soda to try, don't forget. Stay. Yes. <laughs> More proof that it's a M O O C H S N A C K snack down. <laughs> Down in front, Mooch. You can't tell him. All right, can we get side cam? Keep it going. We're at seven minutes. Although they're browning up a little faster than the other ones. I'm gonna make the strawberry one first, only because those are probably pretty cooled down. Yes, they are. Ooh, they're nice and crispy too. I know you want this much, but it is not for you. Oh, there you go. Kitchen timer link in the chat, you guys. Yeah, I've only had it a few minutes, but it's rad. <laughs> I've only had it a few yeah, minutes. Yeah, it's cool. It's bright. We I mean, it like, it, it times. It does exactly it what it's supposed to do. Right, I charge it up real quick. It's got a couple of different brightness modes. So these have browned up quite a bit faster. I'm worried about them burning. We also didn't open it at all this time, too. What do you mean? Like, we didn't open it to check on it, so it just went straight I, through I, without losing heat. I opened them once. Just, I think I opened oh, okay. the other one once around the yeah. same time. But in 216, it'll be the 10. Yeah, uh, I don't know what kind of... Oh, I know what it is. So this thing has a feature where it will just only vibrate or only beep or beep and vibrate. But the vibrating is kind of cool to like not have it like be annoying. I just don't know that I would use that feature because I, I oh. put my stuff in the oven and walk away. I would probably use it like right now on the screen <laughs> so it doesn't just go beeping in everybody's ears. Fair enough. I don't know what it's set to. Either. No, it's set to like beep. All right, so we've got some pink. I might make that a little bit thicker. It is a little runny. It's just exhausting out of here. It's all yeah. yeah, I'm standing here up inside where I stand, and it's all uh, it goes, uh, it's all. Uh, yeah. Did Moose get a pop tart made? No, yeah, I failed Moose him. Moose doesn't get pop -tarts. Don't worry, we have snacks. We have we have Moochie snacks. Oh, he's sleeping again anyway. He forgot all about it. Right? I just want this a little bit thicker so it doesn't run off. We got a nice good uh, pink color going on to match with that strawberry filling. All right, I'm calling it on these. We went nine minutes on this one. Oh, not sure why, but you'll see like yeah, you can see in there. They they browned up a little bit quicker. Oh, I put my my bench scraper. I'm trying to say it over and over so I can remember. That's what it's called. I'm not gonna remember. Get a little brown here. Oh, oh. this is from Dale. <laughs> And make sure to give you some pets too. Dale's a she. Oh, she. Is, Sorry. Is Terry the petting hand? 
Probably make these. I stopped that. That thing was loud. <laughs> yeah, it was. That's louder than my regular. It's like a timer. diffused bomb. Yes. <laughs> um, I did have it on the fridge though, right here, and it was vibrating when it was done, and it was going, it was going, on the fridge, on the fridge, it was going. Is it going down? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this will definitely be, uh, this will definitely be for, uh, the cooking show. Okay, so here's the deal. I gotta frost them, and then plate them and take pictures, because we are gonna scarf these. Do you even have scissors? Is that you had them? No. No, it's yeah. Oh, they're probably right here, then. Those aren't the kitchen ones, well, though. Well, this one I put the... It, it could be, because this one was for the shears that are in there. Oh, okay. It could be. What are you doing? I'm moving the machine. Oh. It's hot, but I gotta move it out of the way. There should be room for it right here. Yeah, that's what I got it. No problem. Let's just make sure the cable doesn't... Oh, never mind. All right, guys. We're gonna finish that one up after these cool a bit. We're gonna slide these over. We're gonna work on these. Oh, I got sprinkles in the frosting somehow. Oh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's gonna have sprinkles on the frosting anyway. Write it down, bench scraper. Where am I gonna write it down that I'm gonna remember? Did you put paper down for the glaze? You know how messy I am. Good looking out. Good enough. All right. That's pretty thick. That's that's more of a, a frosting, but that's how I wanted it. If you make it, you can make it a little bit thinner, but I like my frosting thick. And maybe to the edges? You should paint them like, like you know we've always wanted them to do. Yeah. <laughs> what, Chris? Nobody likes a crust. Hey, Dan X, I remember bench scraper. <laughs> yeah. Dan's not going to remember it. Oh, look how fun. It's a Pop Tart. You look good. They smell good. They smell amazing. I call BS on every recipe's <coughs> estimated time to prep and cook. I sometimes the cook, like this one said eight to 10 minutes. That was accurate. Uh, prep time, even though I was yapping, I don't care. That still was not a 10 minute prep time any way you look at it. Are you Snapchatting? No. Oh. I, I, I'm, I'm you had your, your phone up. I thought you were taking a- then, Well, I'm streaming and talking in the chat with everyone. Gotcha. Oh, it is gooing a little bit. Hannah, I see you're not feeling well. I'm sorry, friend. I hope you get well soon. I call dibs on the big one. Yep. <laughs> Goes without saying. <laughs> a 10 minute prep time not live streaming I still don't think you could prep these in 10 minutes if somebody makes these and does it in 10 minutes please provide a video otherwise I will not believe you it's true 
very often I'm like, oh, this is going to be a quick recipe. We're going to have to fill time. And you'll see, like, sometimes I start off and we'll, we'll have some conversations and stuff. That's usually me filling time if I don't hurry up and get into the recipe. Um, very often on those nights I'm like, oh, it's, it's 7.30. We're an hour and a half into this. <laughs> Things always take longer. And yes, I do yap. But what do you want me to do? You want me to just sit here and make 10-minute Pop-Tarts and then leave and not talk to you guys? This is how we do. We're hanging out. I was Snapchatting earlier, though. You need to Snapchat some Pop-Tarts so all your friends can be jealous oh, that are. you're having homemade well, Pop-Tarts. Oh, well, I plugged the, 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 the stream on the... I Yeah, you know, nice. I did the thing. I shared and liked and... Oh, oh. It was a blue sprinkle that tainted my frosting. I'm glad I didn't make double the frosting. That would have been way too much. So if you guys try this recipe, um, the strawberry ones calls for just one roll of the pie crust and two or double the amount of frosting of what I made. That That is false. Unless they want you to dip no, it's just like over the top of it. There's no way. That's way too much frosting. Oh, I didn't sprinkle this one. I hope it's not too dry. Oh, I'm losing sprinkles. Put your sprinkles on right after you frost it, guys. It's not helping. Sorry, that one's minimally sprinkled. All right, I have to let those set so I can position them for a photo. So sorry, we're still not eating them. <laughs> That's how this goes. All right, what's going on? Can Terry pop on camera so we can see her gorgeous face? I bet you she can. Don't worry, she's coming over here when it's time to eat, too. I am. But since you requested. There's Terry. Hi, guys. Well, Hannah says the stream has helped to, a little to distract me. Just a little bit. I'm here for you, friend. Okay, so this one... We did the powdered sugar, we did the cinnamon, we're gonna do a tablespoon of heavy cream, plus more is needed, but remember I'm using milk for that. Um, I'm gonna do the vanilla first, because I don't think I'm gonna need a whole tablespoon. I used all my things. Do you need to wash up the room? Nah. I got two sets of all my measuring things, because I bake a lot. All right, so there's that. It would help if I took the lid off. No <laughs> joking. Uh, Becky says, I sent a message to you and Dan yesterday about my mom's new cat. Did you receive the message? Um, probably not. I'm horrible at checking messages on all platforms. Where did you send it? You can ask Terry. Terry, you send me. By the time I get into Instagram and I'm like, oh, look, I have a message. I have like 10 messages from 10 different people. I'm, post it in the group. I'm terrible. Yeah, if you have a thing, post it in the group, and that's that's a better way. We will see that. Well, when Facebook wants to notify me, because I've noticed lately when we are streaming one of these days, I think we were doing Mario Kart, and one of you guys said like, oh, I posted something. I had no notification. I had to go to the group and then like click on the little icon at the top and then it would show me but it didn't give me a notification so i don't know what's up with the metaverse these days but it's failing and this is that was me yeah yeah and i didn't get a notification i don't know what's up with that oh my god you guys it's a little bit too thick still Hello, Holly. Thank you for joining us. We are just about done here, but we are making Pop-Tarts. We've got some strawberry ones here already frosted and setting. And we made some brown sugar ones. They're still a little bit warm. I might have to let those cool a few more minutes before I can put the frosting on the top of them. RFS Dan page is where I messaged you. On what platform. If it was to RFSDM, then no, I, didn't, I certainly didn't see it. Uh, who is Terry? Is she a friend or a family member? Terry is my bestie from, like, back in the day from high school. Since high school. I shouldn't say from high school. Since high school. Now, Brittany knows. Brittany knows everything. Just ask Brittany if you have questions. She knows all the things about her life. 
yeah, Terry is staying at our house right now. I made it a little too thin. Although maybe I'll wait a minute till this cools. Yeah, if I put it on here right now, it's gonna just ooze off. Uh, Adele is here. Hello, Adele. Adele, do you have Pop Tarts in Australia? Do you have Pop Tart brand Pop Tarts? Do you have some other brand? Um, what what's going on in, with the Pop Tart situation in Australia? Uh, she says, as usual for a Saturday morning. Oh, late as usual for Saturday morning, but I'm here nonetheless. What version of Dantix are we playing tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow is actually because we, <laughs> I don't know if you caught last Saturday's episode, but um, we didn't check our own calendar. So last Saturday we were supposed to do guess the movie based on the picture, but we we didn't we didn't we didn't know that we didn't pay attention at all. Um, so we did uh, regular Dantix last week. Colin, did we end up doing Colin? Yes. Um, so. Last Saturday's show was awesome. You know, somehow when everything goes wrong, it's everything goes right. I don't know. But actually tomorrow we are going to do guess the movie in the chat based on the movie still shot that Dan has been working very hard to um, put this filter over it that's going to like pixelate it. So you're not going to know what it is right when you see it. You might. Some of them like I had an idea, um, but then it's going to unpixelate and become clear. Yeah, so it's yeah, yeah, it's def. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm a little hiccupy right now. You have your phone. Uh, yeah. I sent you, I, I sent you your photo of the cat. Mm. Gotcha, thank you. Um, Hannah says, yes, we have Pop-Tarts in Kansas. <laughs> Hannah, how sick are you? I know you have Pop-Tarts in Kansas. I wanted to know if Adele has Pop-Tarts in Australia. Ah. Uh. Dan sent me Becky's message. Thank you, Dan. My adopted mom got Stormy, and this cat has six toes. Oh, I'm so envious. She sent me a picture of him. They are called Hemingway cats. Have you or Crystal ever seen one? We have um, uh, Perfecto39 in the chat. Kathy. Um, her husband. I, family. Whoever. <laughs> family trees are hard. Dan's family. Um, he's passed now, but they had Oiving who um, had an extra toe and it was the best thing ever. These big old man hands. Oh, it's so hard to see on here because it blows it out. I didn't see that. I was supposed to tell you about it, but I forgot. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, he, he has the six toes. That's amazing and I love it. Oh, the hands are so big. I would definitely call that cat Mr. Man Hands. I know I've told you guys the story before about uh, Precious's nickname, Mr. Man Hands, if you missed it. Um, when Precious still lived at my work, he was on my desk one day and a little girl came in and I went in the back to do whatever I needed to do. And when I came back up and got them, her and her mom, whatever they needed and they were leaving and she turns around and she says, I like your Mr. Man hands. And I just looked at her like, what the hell are you talking about? And she said, the cat. She, well, for whatever reason, this little like eight year old girl nicknamed Precious Mr. Man hands. And uh, that's his nickname forever. Just so you know. <laughs> Adele says, we can get Pop-Tarts here. Probably not as many flavors as you have, though, I'm sure. I'm sure. Any that I've tried tend to taste stale, so I'm not sure if that's because they're imported or how they actually taste. I wouldn't say they taste stale, but they're definitely not as good as, like, homemade things. And, and they're preservatives. Look, Pop-Tarts are terrible. They're a guilty pleasure. Nobody likes Pop-Tarts because they're a high-quality breakfast or dessert or snack. It's, <laughs> I don't know if I'd even call them a utility because they don't really provide much nutritional value either. It's more like nostalgia, if anything. Like, I had these on Saturday mornings when I was a kid so my parents could sleep in. It's pretty much what it is. Or, crap, we're late for school. Here, take this. That's, that's what, you're better off without Pop-Tarts. <laughs> it's a vessel for frosting for me, pretty much. Uh, we have Kellogg's Pop-Tarts here in Canada. Yours are probably better as well. I started following an account on Instagram that um, likes to point out all the horrible stuff that is in food in America and compare it to other countries and how they make the same product, but it doesn't have all these horrible chemicals and crap in it. And it's kind of terrifying and really wants you, makes you want to just make all your own food. So here we are making our own Pop-Tarts. <laughs> our frosting is just about set on these. That was like almost a perfect consistency. These are still a little bit warm. I just don't want it to fall off and be too thin. It's just a delivery system for sugar. Oh, absolutely. I bet the number one ingredient is sugar. Let, let's see what's going on in Pop-Tarts. Oh, we do still have the lemon ones. I didn't throw them away yet. Hey, someone must have eaten them because there's only one package left. If you're interested in lemon Pop-Tarts, Terry, have at it because I have not eaten it. You already said they taste like veg. <laughs> no, I mean, they're delicious. Please eat them so I don't have to throw them away. I hate throwing away food. 
All right, let's see what's going on. Oh, enriched flower is first. Uh, let me let me get through all the parentheses and brackets that they have describing what's an enriched flower. Uh, sugar, sugar is the second ingredient. Uh, soybean and palm oil, corn syrup, dextrose, high fructose corn syrup, sugar. A bunch of other sugars for four different kinds of sugar and wheat flour. So flour and sugar. Flour and sugar, awesome. which uh. Probably pretty much exactly what we made, but less preservatives at least. Technically, American bread is classed as a cake due to the amount of sugar in it. Yeah. Uh, do you really open the box from the bottom? I I screwed up and look, it's shaped the same way. You cannot fault me for this. I grabbed the wrong end. Like I was leaving for work and was like, crap, I don't have a breakfast. And it's got the tab on it. It's shaped the exact same way, but there's no hole to put it in. So I didn't realize I opened it from the bottom until I went. There's there's nowhere to. Why would they do that? Why wouldn't they make it flat so I know when I look at... F you, Kellogg's. <laughs> yeah, fork Kellogg's. No, I don't normally do that, Hannah. I'm not that weird. Oh, crap, I sent her on a tangent. <laughs> Come on, it happens. I bought them once as a novelty, but wasn't impressed. Impressed. Had the same with candy corn. High hopes, quickly defeated, that's for sure. Candy corn's only good, um, sorry if I offend anybody, if you're like 12 and under. After that, like, again, nostalgia. Oh yay, candy corn! And then at some point you're just like, why am I eating this? This is disgusting. <laughs> There's so many better snacks. Don't waste your calories on nastiness. A facts about candy corn. <laughs> Go make some cookies. Make some chocolate chip cookies and use your calories that way. Candy corn rules, get out. <laughs> get your stuff and get out of my house. <laughs> it's over. 25 years of friendship out the window over candy corn. I thought I was going to sneak that one in. Done with it. <laughs> and peeps, I'm helping you pack. Oh. <laughs> candy corn is fun to play with. Yeah, like Play-Doh. I ate that too. Oh, here we, here we go with the uh, candy corn haters and lovers. What is candy corn? Um, Disgusting. I, I bet you the ingredients are five different kinds of sugar. Food coloring. Food coloring. And maybe vanilla. Oh, you, do you not have it there or do you call it something different? I will show you. This, Linda, is candy corn. It only comes out at Halloween. Um, it's meant to look like corn and sometimes people do this with it. Although I've never seen it in real life, but that's that shows you like how it looks like corn because it's yellow on the outside and if you poke it into... I don't know what they poke it into. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. No clue. I uh, never tried Peeps or candy corn. You are better off for both of those things. It's literally sugar. just sugar. Uh, it comes out for Easter too, but different colors. We got the, I think Melissa sent us the taco truck candy corn that was like guacamole and salsa and taco meat flavor. Terry, it was disgusting. I, I do it. promise you it was disgusting. I don't even think they're around anymore. The problem with those things is, look, if you want me to try your taco truck candy corn, can we get the little, like, maybe 50 cent to a dollar taster bag? Nobody wants to eat a whole bag of taco truck candy corn. I promise you, nobody was like, this is my jam I'm stocking up. Those were jelly beans. You're right, they were jelly beans. What was the candy corn? That was the Thanksgiving. The Thanksgiving, uh, where it was turkey and green beans and... Oh, cranberry sauce. I don't remember what the other ones were. Those were candy corn. Uh, also disgusting. But again, we don't need a whole bag. We don't need a $5 bag of some disgusting... You know these are disgusting. <laughs> Nobody wants to stock up on Thanksgiving candy corn and eat them all year long, all excited for them to come out again next Thanksgiving. It's not happening. Come out with little sample sizes. And you know what? More people are going to try them. Because I, I saw those in the store the taco truck ones and was like, I'm not spending like three, four, five dollars. I don't know how much they were. No, nobody wants to spend that much money. I, we only ate them because Melissa sent them to us. Thank you, Melissa. Appreciate it. Like check that off the bucket list. We'll never get those again. Come on with sample size. So many more people will buy them. You'll turn a better profit. You get a clearance amount at the end of the season anyway to get people to buy them. Come on. Uh, the size of the bean boozle size. Yes, if you could come out with a little box, just a little taste tester, you, th you and three or four of your friends can try each of the flavors. You're good to go. You're done. Who started this tangent? Whoever knows, Hannah. This, this is what we do. You guys get me started on things, and I start ranting about things that I hate and stupid things in the world, and here we are. 15 minutes later, we went from Pop-Tarts to crap. Crap candy. 
Uh, I just rewatched the CC Mouse podcast and when I sent you the sweets slash candy. Poor Dan. <laughs> Dan doesn't do as well with candy as the rest of us. He doesn't eat a whole lot of it. Um, some of us are very gluttonous and eat lots of it. And we're just fine with a belly full of candy. We may have regrets later, but we're okay with it. Not so much with Dan. Now the Pop-Tarts are cool to frost. Let's see. Almost. We're almost there. See, these ones sat out the entire time I made the other ones. So, oh, there's still a little one. I just don't want to put the frosting on and have it turn liquidy. Uh, Hannah is also one of those people gluttonous for candy. Uh, PJ, I don't know why YouTube flagged your comment. I have to approve it. Oh, somebody else did it. Oh, thanks, Dan. Uh, <laughs> apparently, YouTube does not want you to say that you like peep jousting. They've drawn a line. I have to approve for you to say that. Who knows why? Um, I need more information. Tell me more about peep jousting. Uh, hello, Lily CK. We, we've made Pop-Tarts. Our strawberry ones are done. They have uh, cooled down. Our, our frosting is set, but you know I gotta take a picture before we can eat them. Let's, let's test this and see if this is gonna turn into liquid because uh, we're at 745 and I haven't eaten dinner and I'm gonna eat a bunch of uh, Pop-Tarts. Tried soda from the US this summer. Didn't like it, it was too sweet. I absolutely believe that. Yeah, all of our stuff is too sweet. And it's weird because some of it, like, I love candy. I'll eat all the candy. But then some stuff I'm just like, yeah, even I, I don't drink soda. It's not a thing I am down for. We do have one to try. We'll see uh, if I like that. I haven't liked any of the sodas we've tried. Uh, put a toothpick in a peep and put it in the microwave. They sword fight. Oh, my gosh. That's funny. Too much. I'm doing it. Uh, Jody says, I'm the same with ice cream. I'm lactose intolerant, but I'll deal with that later. <laughs> That was Dan's feeling at Cold Stone on Sunday. All right, this is still a little liquidy. I'm going to try to help it out since they are warm and just make it a little thicker. Those brown sugar Pop-Tarts are still going to be lava inside. They're almost room temperature. Uh, Marianne says, I think it's the corn syrup. I believe it. I think that has a sweeter taste than real sugar. All right, let's try one and see how this goes. No sprinkles on these. We're just doing the frosting. I like the possibilities are in this like this. Yeah, you could fill these with any kind of jam. You could make any flavor or color of frosting for them. I just made my two favorites. Well, my favorite and Dan's favorite. If he were going to eat a Pop-Tart. Okay, I think it's working. It's setting. I'm trying to get a, a little closer to the edges so we're not so crusty. I'm excited! Are ya? We're so close, Dan. Flaked off a little bit. Oops. While I'm doing this and being so quiet, hey chat! I know I ask this every Big Brother season. Is anybody watching Big Brother? <laughs> Nobody ever does, but I ask anyway. Uh, yes, uh, Jennifer, thank you, Brittany. Again, Brittany knows everything. Mooch just had his gotcha day. Uh, he is 15. He's a grumpy old man, and he will not hesitate to let all of you know what he does and does not like. 
Amanda, I'm stocking Pop Tarts. I'm right next to Mooch, right here. <laughs> We're buying for position. Dan is uh, sitting on the back of the couch at the moment. I don't know what <laughs> he's sorry. doing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Full disclosure. So these Amazon people like start finding you after you start doing all these Amazon review videos, right? And there's different levels of like, these companies are just starting out and they'll just be like, could you do the product for the product? You know, like a video for the product? And some of these people like pay and stuff. <laughs> and some of these products are like hundreds of dollars and stuff. So then it became negotiations and the language barrier is there. So now I'm trying to, to describe to this person that like we're, we, we do the live streams like now. Like how many people are on your live stream? I'm like, here's a live stream right now. <laughs> and so, yeah, so I was just kind of distracted o over there. And then, I don't know, hi. <laughs> I'm excited for the Pop Tarts. It's almost Pop Tart time. But again. it's honestly, it's been like Wolf of Wall Street <laughs> for the last like two weeks. It's just been like one thing after another after another. It's great. It's all super great. And like, I don't know, like the stock has gone up for sure. <laughs> the dance stock? The dance stock has gone up for sure. And you know, I'm not a bragger. Like, it's so, it's just been like literally just like go, go, go. Like, I have to like turn on notifications now and I have to check my email like my email now comes up on here and like I have to be like get back to you in like a professional manner you know I love that shirt Dan yeah uh where did I get this I bought that for you you still got that for me I did so yeah no I am uh I am all good I was uh Uh, Doris pointing out 97 people here. Only 55 of you have it liked is. this stream. Guys, hit the thumbs up. Please. Uh, let's see what is going on. So Sarah says, I just saw a preview on the Nintendo channel that the next wave of Mario Kart courses releases August 8th. Amanda told us earlier it was the 4th. Uh, somebody's lying. Somebody's when, lying. When does it come out? <laughs> also, my friend Kenya said, you okay? Your neck of the woods aren't on fire, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sometimes at, when you don't go outside, you don't realize when there's like something's catastrophic going. things yeah. out there. Yeah. So um, but I don't, I don't hear emergency vehicles. I think, I think we're good. Uh, Big Brother, sorry, Crystal. No, I'm not watching Big Brother. I've been watching a lot of Fairly Odd Parents, an old time car American cartoon. Are you not American? Hold on. Lily, are you in America? Are you just clarifying for everybody else that it's American? The, the handful of people here who are not? Um, I never watched Fairly Odd, Odd Parents. A little old for that. Like, I was a little old when it came out. Oh, that's next. Oh, uh, Brittany sent like, you a screenshot of the release That's, stage. like, over the wall. That's, like, over the wall right here. We gotta go out and... Oh, gotta, yeah, that's, like, the, the next mobile home park over. Oh, we gotta go out and... All right, well, I'll, I'll hold down the fort. Yeah. You hold down the live stream for the hundred of people. I'm gonna go outside across the street. And uh, Sarah says I corrected myself. Sorry, I didn't see your your correction. Um, my my cast and crew are leaving. No, I'm not leaving. I just went to see what window it was out of. Oh, it's no, it's it's over there. You're not gonna be able to see it from here. There's oh, two God. houses in the way. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Dan's gonna go vlog it. Hi, Lily. There was a joke. Let's see. Let me find it for you, friend. Oh, uh, they come through sometimes, and I'm not like able to pay attention. I was watching you frost things and- Okay, stuff. we're gonna let these set for a few more minutes before I can stack and take a photo. The, ah, there's the emergency vehicles. I wonder if she like drove by and was like, I think Dan lives by here. That was a uh, Fairly Odd Parents is not that old of a cartoon. It's from like the 90s compared to say like Bugs Bunny or Mickey Mouse. So I was a teenager in the 90s. Um, I, I still watch some cartoons. I was down for Powerpuff Girls. Um, I think that might have even been like late 90s, early 2000s, but no, I, I just didn't get into it. Uh, Hannah says, well, bye, Dan, right? <laughs> like, guess he didn't want a Pop-Tart after all. Uh, what did the swordfish say to the marlin, Dan? Oh, I don't know. What did it say? You're looking sharp. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's already out and done and gone. Uh, Lily says, I was describing it for non-Americans. Yes, I'm an American. I thought you were. Like, the, the time zones... Uh, Throw, like are the big indicator. Uh, Hannah, it's Mojo Jojo, not Jojo Mojo. Get it right. <laughs> also, I identify as Buttercup. <laughs> uh, Life with Lexi says they look good. I'm so excited to try them. I'm just waiting for them to set so I can take a dang photo. That one looks good. And this one looks shiny good. They're, They're so, so shiny. shiny and beautiful. It's so pretty. Oh, I slammed that one into the other one. Boo! Whatevs. Uh, 
talk amongst yourselves. I've got to take a photo. Are you photoing? I am. That means it's almost time to eat. Hi, everybody. This is me. I'm Dan. Yeah, you are. A little scruffing today. Did you shave? Are you still scruffing? No. Dan? So I went into the house, which you'll see in this big seven minute video. And then I got out and I took a shower, and then later on I was like kind of itching around, like I could kind of feel... Here, did you catch something under the house? <laughs> no, because I, I looked like Laverne and Shirley. I had like the shower cap on and everything, like... There's no good way to photograph two big rectangles on a round plate. <laughs> rectangles on a square don't work. <laughs> Alright, guys. Hi, Dan. Hi, BRM bug. Excuse me? They're probably looking for their dinner, huh? Probably. Yeah, they hear food being served and they're like, well, what's going on over there? Dan wears a shower cap when he goes into the house. Dan wears a shower cap when he goes into the house. Hey guys, it's time for Pop-Tarts. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're ready for this. Be jealous, y'all. Hey Dan. Yeah? Come well, pop the tarts. Well, the Amazon your, influencer wants my one? live stream link. I got mine. This okay. is mine. Are we gonna cheers them? No, because I'm afraid they'll break. All right, let's see what's going on. Uh, they are jealous. Always do three, it's like a rule of symmetry. I don't want to stack them though, because the, the Pop-Tart uh, glaze is not fully set. Um, I kind of bumped one into the other and it mushed it, it's so. It's one of these mine? Oh, like the plate, the plate. Yeah, mine. you get one of each. So oh. I don't know what you want to try first. I'm going strawberry. Those look really good. Thanks, I think this one looks the best. That's why I claimed it for myself. Oh, actually. Can we I will take a bite of, of your thing, but if you like these, you can have them. Uh, you're not taking a bite of mine. Those are yours. You can eat as much or as little as you want right now, but those are yours out of cool. the Cool. I'm throwing this one away. No, you're not. Oh, did you see like, it you don't even want to taste it? Did you see it almost fall You want a bite of this one, Dan? I already bit thing? into it. No, it's like, I'll, I'll eat mine. I will say I love how puffy and 3D these are. Good job, Crystal. These look amazing. <laughs> these are definitely uh, winners right here. It's like Pop-Tart meets Toaster Strudel. Yeah. Do you want an inside shot of the cinnamon one? Good. Yeah, I mean, go ahead. You could just uh, you just kind of like lay it up right in here, Terry. I do. In that area right there. Look at this, guys. It's hard yeah, to shower. Yeah, there you, go. you see that? Look at all that goodness. That's way more than you get. Yeah, set that on there, and let me eat half of this, and then I'll get an inside yeah. shot. It's really good. Oh, yeah. That thing's to wow. die for, you guys. The flaky is good. You're getting better at cooking all the way through on the... Pastry puffs. Ooh, Maybe the air it's because it's pie crust. Oh, gotcha. Okay. It was, was really the good. puff pastry and yeah. stuff that was not the business. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Good job. Mm -hmm. That is really good. This, this one's not going to do as well on the camera. That was good. It's saucy here, too, friends. Mm hmm. Yeah. Saucy. I know, huh? Sprinkly. Saucy. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are good. <laughs> Toaster Strudel is so much better than Pop-Tarts. Absolutely. This is a, a nice middle ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's soft. How did you like the brown sugar? I, I did not try it yet. Hold All on. All right. Yeah. Mooch is napping, waiting to kill the fun. I know he is napping. And Topo's sitting right up over here, too, waiting to come see what we're eating. Terry, you are gorgeous. Terry is. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right, friend, there's either half of your Pop-Tart back. Very yeah, uh, Jody, with the super chat, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, hey, Dan. Mm, yes. Did you hear about the guy whose whole left side was cut off? <laughs> I did, actually. Was he all right? Uh, please, the refresh my memory. He's all right now. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. uh, Jody does not like Big Brother. Stop watching. Me? Hi to Mooch and hi to Terry. Hi, Jody. So I'm going to do a fat guy thing and... Double decker and see what happens. <laughs> Flavor profile yeah. wise? Yeah. Strawberries and cinnamon? Uh, Bradman says Terry is so skinny. Whoa. Sorry. Terry has literally been this size since high school and she eats everything. All of it. She's just got an amazing metabolism we should all be like, jealous of. All of it together, <laughs> you guys. All of it. <laughs> you just went for it. Way to go. Yeah, it's like a sandwich. You want some peanut butter in the middle? Nope. All right, Crystal, I'm ready for you. Mm. Each brown sugar one. Let's All see right. what happens. I'm a little nervous because I did notice Terry's did, looked mm -hmm. like it was a little dry. I think that could be easily remedied. It's it kind of like 
It kind of like did something. So the bottom got moist. The top did not. I think I would put egg wash on the bottom of the top layer mm -hmm. before putting them together. Okay. Maybe even a that would help. Less filling. Not that I think it's too much filling. I just think that would help the cooking process. You know, yeah, because yeah, it is a little less than halfway. Oh. It, it It is. It the, does not affect the flavor whatsoever. No, no. The flavor is amazing. Yeah. So but good. you can kind of see a little bit of the the difference in color where it's darker at the bottom where it had the egg wash and on the top it's lighter. Mooch, there's nothing here for you. Mooch just moved himself right on. Uh-huh. Handsome boy. I'm happy that was in a block the camera. strawberry one. The strawberry ones are really uh -huh. good. I thought so too. The flavor is pretty spot on with the brown sugar though. I'm not even a fan of brown sugar pop tarts and I'll eat those every day, Crystal. I'll eat these ones <laughs> every day. Uh, Jody loves your hair, and Bradman says you have crazy big hair. <laughs> I got my Diana Ross on. It was wash day today, so it's kind of my look. Yeah, Terry does have pretty red hair. I won't wash We're it again until next Thursday. We're always loving it. I'm always pulling her little curls a little. Bing! Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad they turned out good. Me too. Me too. That was really Marco! good. Marco! What's up, Marco? We made pop tarts and you missed it! He missed it last week because he was at the Dodger game. Oh, right, cool guy. Marco, we could have traded places. I love my friend, but <laughs> I also love the Dodgers. I've known them longer. You've known the Dodgers longer than you know me. <laughs> 1988, for instance. So, I end the friendship <laughs> over candy corn and peeps. You end it over Dodgers. <laughs> no. I see. I've just known them longer. I would never end the friendship over the Dodgers. Uh, Amanda says, bedtime for AJ. Chat with you all tomorrow night. Bye, friend. Thanks for hanging out. We will see you tomorrow. I'm so good. I like the strawberry one better, but I've been kind of obsessed with jelly lately, so it makes sense. Uh, Brittany says, seeing the older vlogs with Terry when she had longer hair, I almost didn't recognize her. This was, well, your hair in high school was short, short, like, yeah, like and it went, like, upward. G-Bob, totally. Yeah. And Thank then she grew it out to, like, she's pretty much here. <laughs> After I didn't see you for a bunch of years, and then I saw you, and you had all the hair, mm -hmm. and then it just progressively got shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. Because it's hot, and this hair is. But hot. you're, you've been growing it out, again lately. Yeah, starting in the pandemic because I couldn't get in a salon. Fair enough. Tristan wants to know which one's better. Mm -hmm. They're both really good. Um, the brown sugar one nailed the flavor. Like that combination of ingredients nailed the brown sugar pop tart flavor absolutely perfectly. I like the strawberry one better, but I've been obsessed with jelly lately. But it tastes like jelly inside. It does not taste like strawberry pop tart filling, which is a good thing. Like it doesn't have that preservative flavor, but it tastes like a jelly pie with frosting. <laughs> so messy. But it's good. I recommend you guys make these. Definitely. Uh, Valerie says hello from New Mexico. Hello from old California. <laughs> Give Mooch a piece. Um, he can have some pie crust. He probably shouldn't have the frosting part. Before we go, do you want to snack the cats? Do you want to feed the cats? Or are we done? It's eight, it is 8 o'clock. I need real food. Okay, okay. Then yes, are I, you going I, to buy okay. Pop-Tarts still? Um, yeah. Convenience. Exactly. It's the convenience of being able to just throw that in my lunch bag and take it to work. I don't know how well these would travel. No, these are like, this is for like now. Yeah, these are better right, right now. Sorry, I, I had to. Well, hello. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should use a strawberry ice cream. I love strawberry ice cream. I think I'm the more bigger fan of like the strawberry ice mm. creams. Than that is store. a good idea. Strawberry ice cream topping because it's a different sugar profile. That does make sense. I love the kitty. I would try that. No, that that's allergic. a good idea. Oh, Valerie loves a kitty, even though I'm allergic. It's Aww. okay. I'll pet the, I'll pet Mooch for you. I'll pet Mooch for you. Good job, Crystal. Thanks. I'm impressed. Those yes. were really good. Um, I will say. So we've made stuff with. What's this stuff called? Uh, phyllo dough. Right, the phyllo dough. We've made stuff with puff pastry, mm -hmm. and we've made stuff with pie crust. Right. Pie crust is my favorite. Th that's this, right? Yes. Yes. It's the easiest to work with. If you guys want to make some sort of like bootleg pastry thing that's not super fancy and easy to make, pie crust is the way to go. Right. It they're, is. They're obviously three very, very it, different things. It gives you the results you want. 
Yes. It does. Um, and we made, we made good things with both the phyllo dough and the puff pastry, but they were a little more finicky and, and less predictable. Whereas, like, you know what pie crust is going to do. You pinch it together, it puffs up a little bit, that's it, it's done. Christine wants to know why you didn't eat anything. No, I did. I ate almost my whole... Oh, you did. Yeah. You, Could, should I take a bite in front of you so then you're, like, not twitching? <laughs> he ate almost his whole strawberry Pop-Tart. Yeah. You know, that camera's gone. He, he ate... Oh, he didn't like the brown sugar Pop-Tarts. Did you oh, take a bite of one of them? No. I'll, I'll, I'll eat them. Um, I can take, I'll take a bite of the brown sugar one just so I can... Come here. Nope. Cinnamon challenge. <laughs> no. It's good. It's not... It's me, but... Uh, F Man says, I was going to ask if you were supposed to egg wash the top piece. It does not say to do that. It says, uh, arrange half the dough pieces and brush them with the egg wash, put the filling in, top with the remaining pie crust, and crimp it with the fork, and then brush the top with the egg wash. But I do recommend to, like this, brush them both with egg wash and then put it together. That's going to make your filling, especially because there's so much filling in there, you could probably go down a little bit. One and a half teaspoons? One and a half tablespoons was a bit much. A single tablespoon and egg wash on both sides would definitely improve it. That, that would make everything like balance a little bit better. Uh, what about canned croissant dough? I do like that as well. Um, I don't use it often. We don't really usually make like regular croissants. Um, what I do with it, you may have seen on the internet, the recipe, and I think like the whatever brand makes the, the canned dough, Pillsbury or whatever. Um, they have a thing where you put them all like in a circle and then you make like a taco ring out of it. And my high school boyfriend's mom used to make that. And I tried to make it like real early in our relationship and I, I failed at it gloriously. So I just take a single or sometimes I put two together croissants flat and I put taco meat in the center and just wrap it around it and cook it like that. And then you put um, taco fillings like cheese and, and sour cream and lettuce and whatever you eat on a taco. Those are amazing. Tristan said, do you guys like stoner strudels? Toaster strudels? <laughs> I never had any of those until I met you, Crystal. And they're like, they're like the next level of Pop-Tarts. They're like, like rich people Pop-Tarts. Yeah, we never, never had them growing up. A strudel up. is this. First, we take a Pop-Tart and then so on, you know. And then we make it a million times better. better and, then the, the, and it's warm and gooey and it has warm icing. Mm -hmm. Those are so uh, good. You should make toaster strudels. I think that's pretty much what we made here. I don't know... I don't know what would have to be done differently that, to make it homemade, like what kind of dough you'd have but to do. But did you make it on a weed? <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing. That's good. Uh, I used to use croissant dough to make tuna pastry puffs, like where you'd fill it with tuna. Sorry. As a vegetarian, I don't eat tuna. Um, as a human being with cats, that's cat food. I don't know how I mean. you people eat it. I, mean. I really do not know how you I mean. eat tuna. I, I mean. don't get it. It's cat food. I don't get it. Um, but yeah, you can take the croissant dough and like wrap it around anything that's like strong enough to like not leak out. Taco meat's the way to go though. I love that stuff. Did the cinnamon sugar melt like it was supposed to? Did it melt all the way through? No, I tried to show that a little bit. Can we get side cam again, Dan? Yeah, hold Maybe? on. Maybe? I have the cat. I see that. Yeah, I can so, get um, I like I said, I wish I would have done the egg wash on the bottom of the top layer. And I don't know how well you can see this on camera, but it, it, you can't really see the color difference very well. But at the bottom, it's a little darker, like it did kind of soak in. Um, at the top, it's a little more crumbly. It's, it's set well enough, but the egg wash on the top definitely would have helped to kind of liquefy that a little bit more as it cooked to make it more like a, a not even liquid filling, but you know what I mean. Um, versus like, it is still a little crumbly. But it's still good. Don't get me wrong. The jelly one's better. The strawberry jelly one. Uh, tuna's actually not great for cats because it's high in minerals that can cause them to get urine crystals. Um, also, it stinks really badly. <laughs> it's not good for Crystal because it makes her gag a little bit. I can't find it. Do you it. want pretend water over here? Yeah. There's pretend no water. room for him. Okay. Hey, he's going to have to drink out of the water dish like all the so other cats. Do we have a minute since I've had this for two weeks? We now. do have a minute. Okay. Uh, beer Bucks is not straight up tuna. It's almost like tuna sandwich filling, just a little different. Probably haven't made any in like 25 years. Uh, Brittany no. wants to know if that's a white claw. No, it is not a white claw. <laughs> it is not. What is it, no. Dan? You know what? I don't know because I walked across it like two weeks ago. Apparently, the artist's marshmallows. 
<laughs> Plural? Um, just one. I think he's just one marshmallow. Just one uh, the marshmallow. Artist Marshmallows Limited Edition Coca Cola. Got it. This one is watermelon strawberry flavored. Coke and other natural flavors. So it's Coca Cola and it's watermelon strawberry flavored. Yes. So what we're have you do, tried this? No, we know we but we've had it in the fridge for like two weeks now. Now I like I like Dr Pepper and I like when they did that raspberry Dr Pepper at Jack in the Box, but I don't know if this is going to be a thing. I'm a Pepsi guy and not a Coke guy. Right. I don't know if they can hear you. You're kind of quiet. Yeah, I know you're not a quiet girl. You could speak up when you're talking about the things we're doing on the stream. All right. No, you have to wait until we're done. Okay, so I don't know anything about this other than that. They come in two different kinds. They came in a Coke Zero one and a regular one. I think Jess got a Coke Zero one today or yesterday. But a hair on it. I had it. I blame you. Uh, it smells like Coke. Okay. No, oh, wait. I, I don't know how to pour soda. I don't drink soda. You know what? What I can do is don't, you don't have to pour a three. I'll let you try it. And then if you just don't want I'm it. I'm not going to like it. Then you can just pass it off to me. And then we don't have to, and then I could just keep drinking. You come over here. It's fine. Here, we just some water. You want to come over here and that? Uh, yes. So we can see your reaction when you see how disgusting it is? It uh, Hannah says, I drink nothing but soda. That's terrible and unhealthy for you, friend. It, it smells like. It smells like flat soda. It, it tastes taste, like flat soda. It tastes like flat soda. It doesn't. It tastes like watered down flat soda. I don't like that. It's fun. I do not taste watermelon it, or strawberry at all. It, it's fun, and it feels like somebody squirted the flavor in there, though. That's you know, like when you get good. a Shirley, t or when you get one of the Roy Rogers, right, right, and it the bottom of the glass and the water and the ice is. They want you on camera, Dan. We need to see you. Right, like, like, like they like added it. It didn't. I'm not impressed. It it feels like something was squirted in there, like you said, like when they give you like the Shirley Temple, the Roy Rogers, and you get like the maraschino like juice. It feels like that. Um, it's fun and different though, and it does taste. Wait, does it taste like watermelon? Or I'm a no. It smells I'm a, like Ripley's. I'm a critic of the size of bubbles, and these bubbles are boo boo. <laughs> like they, <laughs> they are not I effervescing. Mean, and I did. Pour it, so they are, that's my they fault. They are the tiniest little bubbles. They are the tiniest Is little bubbles. Is it any better straight out the can? It could be any better straight out of the can, but here's the thing. It smells kind of like juicy fruit gum a little bit. It's like fruit squirt. Right. It's like it fruit doesn't right. taste right, and squirt, I don't taste Squirt flavors. of something else in there, and mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I'm still, I'm happy. You've never purchased it again, but I'm happy. Gross. Dan's lying to you. Do you want any more of it? Well, okay, cool. Chug, Dan. I only finished my glass because it was the polite thing to do. <laughs> oh, you don't have to do that. Dan will always finish People it. People love it when we, like, <laughs> yuck stuff. Um, I don't know. I had fun, but it is, like, like not, like, nobody else wants to drink this. I don't know. Just one time only for all y'all. Kids. And look, hold on. Are gonna can Coke we talk Starlight, about... Coke Starlight was better, Valerie. Can we talk about Coke how Coke they Starlight. came out with a tiny can of it? Is it Red Bullish? Um, is it is, it's it is. Red Bull can-sized. It's, it's maybe filled to here now after three of us tried it. Yeah, Perfect. It's, it's 12 ounces. It's Perfect. a soda. It's a soda. Can you candy manufacturers take a note from the Coca-Cola bootleg flavor? Uh, I wonder if this, has, this one has 33 grams of caffeine, milligrams of caffeine. Uh, Brittany's suggesting you add rum to it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> um, Look, it wouldn't, dis it wouldn't I, make it any worse. Right, right. It might it might pair better with some alcohol in there, because at least you know you know it's got some alcohol uh, J there. underscore Ant wants to know, what on earth are you drinking? What am I drinking? Yes. Um, uh, show that so, again. like, I was walking by the store, like, at the Walmart or whatever, or at the Meyer, if you're back there. Um, there's the Marshmallows Limited Edition Coca Cola. Um, Marshmallow is, a, like, a DJ. A watermelon strawberry flavored. Um, it's actually spelled incorrectly with an E. It's not marshmallow. Mar like marshmallows. The food, it's marshmallows. Because he's, like, mellow. He's okay. Mellow. Right, 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 right. <laughs> new Dead Mouse. The New Dead Mouse yes. guy. And it was fun. It, it was fun. It was, like, it's. It, that, it's a one-time only shot. F fans wants to know what the coke catch. <laughs> to just no. just right off the head. <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys, if you would, don't clean up that spaghetti noodle you, soon, it might. You guys would scream if it bounced off my tooth. <laughs> um, Uncle Yukon, who I'm assuming has been watching the entire time but not commenting, saved up all his comments for the end. Mm -hmm. uh, he says hi, bye. Hi, bye. Blueberries are awesome, mm -hmm. as are waffles, pancakes, and muffins with them. I do not disagree. I just don't like fake blueberry flavor. He um, hates the Yankees. Woo. Don't root for any team of any sport. Candy corn is good. I buy them all year round until tomorrow. So, wow, hold on. You Thank so, you for all of it. So you <laughs> hate all, all the teams, but, but you hate the Yankees. 
Uh, had to point that out, but right. point that he doesn't root for anybody else, but he specifically hates the Yankees. Fair enough. Um, is Mil- Mooch still drinking? Yes. He's going to float away in his sleep tonight, he'll, he'll, he might. He'll, he'll, I've got to keep those kidneys full, especially yes. at his old age. There he goes. Okay, now Woo. you have to get down. Though. Yeah, it's like a five-minute It's a five minute drink. No lie. Sometimes we'll be ready to walk out the door, and then Mooch will sit right there, and I'll be like, are you? Because sometimes he fakes. He sits there and pretends he wants water just because he knows maybe we'll put He knows down. we'll leave him on the counter. And then we're like, all right, all right, let's, let's turn on the water. And sure enough... Five minutes, lights are off already, we're already... Yes. Yes. Uh, Debbie says, I missed the stream, going to rewind and watch. Don't look at the finished product. Go watch us make it. <laughs> hey, we were supposed to have... Ow, you sorry. Me. We were supposed to have baking lights here. Alexa, it's baking time. It was supposed to, like, give us, like, these, like, nighttime mood lights. I don't think she's listening to you. You have to say her name and then pause. No, she's very particular about that. You know, we're just... We're not... She doesn't like you. We're not having it today. No? No. Um... We're not having it today with Alexa. I got a couple know. comments here that I want to read. Sure. Uh, where did we go? Uh, Jennifer suggesting we use puff pastry to make toaster tools. Jennifer, I did a few recipes with puff pastry. I don't like it. It's too finicky for me to work with. I do not have that skill. So uh, I'm sure it would turn out well. Uh, maybe not for me, though. I, I'm so mad at it. I, I tried... Uh, what did I make with the puff pastry? Is that what you mean, buffalo? No, that was the phyllo dough. I don't remember what I made, but I was mad about we it. We made pizza with the puff pastry? Did we try to make homemade pizzas here one time? We, oh, no, I think we made that with phyllo dough too, maybe. Did we? Okay, probably. We were okay. making all kinds of things with like all the leftover stuff. I don't know. Um, Michelle says, instead of jam or jelly, could you put fruit in a blender and spread it out on the pastry dough? Absolutely. That would probably be amazing because you'd get rid of all the extra sugar and stuff. Um, we got an organic jelly that I'm sure still had tons of sugar in it. I didn't have any good like... Um, you know, better sugar, 13 grams Ouch. of sugar in a tablespoon. So, Dang, yeah, oops. I'm sure if you just did, like, fruits blended up, it would be so much better. I feel like they're trying to, like, the more I drink this, I've only had a couple sips of Red Bull, but I feel like they're trying to Red Bull Oh, J underscore X, but Crystal knows I'm John. John, I forgot it was you. It's been a while. Oh, what's up, dude? It's John. Hello, friend. We made Pop-Tarts. Do you know what Pop-Tarts are? Do you have Pop-Tarts in Sweden? Yeah, in Sweden. In Sweden. Yeah? Do you have Pop-Tarts in Sweden? No, no, you move somewhere else. Where are you at now? I know, huh? Hey, Every Terry. Every time a car goes by, it makes a noise. I'm like, are you running into my house? <laughs> Terry. There he is. Have you heard about the new restaurant called Karma? There's no menu. You get what you deserve. <laughs> That's the kind of thing I'm not going to try. That was like. a good one. Oh, John says, hello. You sent me my first Pop-Tarts. It's been a while. Come on. Back in like 2009 or something. All right, all right. Did you send him the brown sugar ones, friend? I'm sure that I did. What flavor did I send you? Now officially the oldest person from our live streams in 2009 or 8. He said like in 2009 was or it something. 2009? It was. When we were live streaming in this very house. <laughs> in a very different kitchen. In a very different kitchen. But pretty oh, yeah. much right Hey, John, here. look at our new kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> He's Watch a different, out, right? I'm also dangerous. <laughs> Uh, John says he cannot remember. Oh, that's I, I right. I forgot I we sent we stuff. sent him a whole box of stuff. We did. Oh, I've done that for a handful of people that's over right. the years. Yeah. Oh, John, I miss you. Supply drop I got from you. Yeah, probably Don't. a bunch of like unhealthy, sugar-filled, preservative-filled disgustingness that you tried once and like never again. Right? Don't right? listen to her. All she's trying to do over the last fourteen years is get a photo out of you. <laughs> Just need a current Just photo. Just a photo out of you. <laughs> That's all. Uh, he says, nice her- kitchen. Thanks. You should send him a photo. You should send her a photo from 2009. <laughs> like that same one that yeah, you sent back she'll then? She'll be satisfied. And she still talks. To- we talked about it before. He says, I love that box of sugar. Well, good. Good. I'm glad that you did. Well, now I need a backstory on John. Uh, John is our friend from Sweden that watched our stuff way back in the day. And he would never show us what he looked like. Like, he's he's on social media, but no pictures of himself. And he's barely on social media. Yeah. Um. Over the years, uh, John has a, a, I believe, girlfriend, maybe wife, um, who has a social media, and I, I have stalked, because I'm still friends with him on social media, I went and stalked the girl to see, like, is there a picture of John on here? Was it, were, were they there, and it was just black? <laughs> I don't even remember. It, it just, like, uh, just, it's just not there. Did not find a picture of John. Um, at one point, he sent me some picture of him where, if I'm not mistaken, it was one of these shots where, like, like he was looking like this, and he had spiky hair that stuck out all over the place in a white t-shirt. It could have been any Sven. Uh, it really could have been. Sven. He didn't look particularly Swedish. No, not really. Um, so mm. I was not 100% convinced that that was him. John sent me Neon Genesis Evangelion, which I waited 10 nice. years to watch. We and traded for Pop-Tarts. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Because John had, like... 
they had high speed internet in like 2009. I think he had like fiber back then. Right. And he had access to all the bays of the pirates. <laughs> and, and at such a fast speed. And I always thought that was amazing. We were we were live streaming at like three megabytes. Right now we have 940. We were doing three. <laughs> so yes, that's that's John. Okay. Uh, BRM Bug says, was it like Wilson from Home Improvement where you could never see his face fully? <laughs> no, like you could just never see his face. Uh, John yes. says, I was put <laughs> under a security audit for a clearance and they wanted to know why there was so little presence of me online. It was weird that I had little to no info about myself online, including photos. Does that make you feel better? It is weird. <laughs> Does that make you feel better? <laughs> well, yeah, because I know he's not just hiding from me, but still, like, dude, you are you have been our friend for like literally over a decade and I still don't know what your face looks like. Brittany says, I miss the Bay of Pirates. Me too. And it sucked the day that me ship got sunk. <laughs> me ship got sunk over a stupid episode of Scrubs. Oh, yeah. who cares? Yeah, it was, like, it was like on that night and it's like, season 13 episode, who gives a crap by then? And then, and then it's like, I got my paper in the mail. Yeah, you were in trouble. And then, yeah, and then I got another paper in the mail for some other stupid thing. Yeah. And nothing, I was like, nothing worth bragging no, about. It was like season seven, episode four of the show Moms, the, the episode where I've already pulled out all my hair. <laughs> I'm going to punch you one with the show. other. But there I am getting popped while I'm trying to ride down the street with too many grams of pirate bait in the back seat of the car. <laughs> uh, Brittany also got that paper in the mail. Yeah, so I... So many of us did once they realized what we were doing. I've gone clean since then. Uh, I, no, I no longer sail the seven seas, baby. We just uh -uh. subscribe to no, 15 no, different nope. streaming I just, services. I just take it up the seven seas now <laughs> by all the streaming services. Uh, most true. recently, uh, Apple TV. <sighs> it's sneaky, yeah. yeah. They're like, hey, by the way, your trial's almost up. <laughs> and I'm like, what was that? Uh, uh, here's your five dollar bill. <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. they tell you like five minutes before they process the billing payment for that month, like. Hey, you want to cancel? Oh, cool. They did that we me. asked. They we did asked. that to me with Disney Plus yesterday. I get on the Verizon app because my bill's gone up 60 cents in the last two months. I'm like, <laughs> You were so oh mad God. about your 60 yeah, cents on your phone it's, bill. I'm, get, being, I'm being like penny boarded. It's like waterboarded, <laughs> but like just little pennies. Just, just <laughs> So passive aggressive Dan gets on the chat and stuff like that. And oh, and Dan is the worst when talking to customers. We're not talking people. about that. Anyway, <laughs> so I get on there and it's like, oh, hey, by the way, like I'm obligated to tell you that you're like six months of Disney Plus is about to be up like in like four minutes. Like, do you like, what do you want to do? I'm going to cancel it. Are you sure you want to cancel it? Yeah, I cancel it. Well, why do you want to cancel it? For these reasons. Uh, I don't want to pay that much money. Well, what if we give you 10% off 10%. Amazon Prime? There are a Disney Plus. I'm like, no, I don't want anything. Well, you like Disney, right? Well, yeah. Did you watch Obi-Wan? I'm all caught up. What about The Mandalorian? The time's ticking. <laughs> They're just trying to stall you out until they charge Mickey's you. Mickey's back there trying to write a check. Someone's over there, like, trying to process the payment yeah. real quick. Right, it's ridiculous. And I'm like, no. I'm like, then I'm like, <laughs> and I'm getting all mad now. And they're like, sir, you can't say that. And I'm, this call's <laughs> being recorded, sir. It can right? be used against you in a court of law. Right. So, man, I like, whoo, I opted out of the out. Yeah. Right. Did you finally get out? Right. And they're all like, well, what about Discovery Plus? I'm like, it is Shark Week. <laughs> Sign me up. Sign me up. <laughs> Sign me up for Shark Week. Sign me up. Uh, oh my gosh. John says, interestingly enough, piracy is on the rise again, probably because there are like a million different subscription services now, and most people just cannot afford no, all that. No, it's because Johnny Depp was found innocent, and now we're all pirates again. <laughs> Let's get on there, that mateys. Why? Yes. Why. It's new episodes of The Handmaiden's Bush or whatever it's called, <laughs> where she's all like, I can't do nothing. You know, on the cover of the, of the, of the show? Yeah, it's free episodes of that for everyone. Uh, John's got your out. Just say that you're moving countries and it's not available there. I like it. Conversation is over. They, I mean, what are they going to do? Talk you out of moving countries? They might. They might try to talk you out of moving countries. It's true. All right. Bye, mateys. All right, guys. Thank you, John, for showing yeah. up. It was so good to see, see you again. Or not see you ever. <laughs> good one, Crystal. I, I, ha I have, like, Facebook and Instagram. You could just... DM me. You might go to your grave. Take a selfie real quick and send it. I just. You I, might go to the grave. You might. It, but it's he would a show up for your now. funeral. <laughs> <laughs> that would be it. Yes. He would show and Dan up. would see your face. <laughs> no, he probably marsh. He probably marshmallow it. <laughs> uh, he says, "Why are you moving countries? Do you hate America?" Is probably what they would say. Probably. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, anyway, thank you all for showing up tonight. If you guys haven't already, please hit the thumbs up on your way out. It does help our algorithms and our back end things that none of us really understand, but it shoots us up to the top. So when you're scrolling, you'll see us. Much like the guy at the grocery store that checks us out all the time and said uh, our stuff got served up to him on YouTube, mm -hmm. which is kind of weird. It makes me wonder who else I know that's getting it served up to them. 
I, I should watch what I say. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much. We will see you tomorrow. We are live at 6 p.m. Pacific tomorrow. We are not playing Dantix, unlike what the calendar says, because we didn't check our own calendar. Tomorrow we are playing Guess the Movie by the scrambled up picture that Dan's going to unscramble for you. It's going to be so fun. I it will up. be fun. So it's not just Fastest Finger, but it's Fastest Finger plus Fastest Who Can Recognize This Scrambled Up Pixelated Picture. I have about 12 hours in this one. Into back end yeah, work? I got about 12 hours in this. It's going to be good. Y'all better show up and make it worth it's all gonna, this back end it's work. It's going to be good. Please. <laughs> That's please. what she said. All, all right, right bye. Kids in bed, I'm back. Let's get this party started. Party's over. Go home. Who Chris. Chris, good night, we'll Chris. See you later. Good night, Chris. Bye, guys. Make some pop tarts. They're really fun and easy.